Reuters reports the Department of Agriculture has warned of sticker shock facing home chefs this summer. The agency said conditions in California could have large and lasting effects on U.S. fruit, vegetable, dairy, and egg prices as the most populous U.S. state struggles through what officials are calling a catastrophic drought. The Consumer Price Index, or CPI, for U.S. beef and veal is up almost 10% so far in 2014, reflecting the fastest increase in retail beef prices since the end of 2003. Prices, even after adjusting for inflation, are at record highs. The USDA said the drought in Texas and Oklahoma has worsened somewhat in the last month, providing further complications to the beef production industry. Beef and veal prices for the whole of 2014 are now forecast to increase by 5.5 to 6.5%, a sharp advance from last month's forecast for a 3 to 4% rise. Pork prices are set to rise 3 to 4 percent, up from the 2 to 3 percent advance expected a month ago. The USDA said overall U.S. food price inflation for 2014, including food bought at grocery stores and food bought at restaurants, would rise by 2.5 to 3.5 percent during the year. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. Antiwar.com reports Ukraine's presidential election has finished and chocolate king Petro Poroshenko has claimed a sweeping victory with exit polls showing him at 55% of the popular vote, easily enough to avoid a runoff. Turnout was solid in most of the country, though polls by and large did not open in the eastern oblast, and polls in the city of Donetsk weren't open at all, leaving around a million people unable to vote. Poroshenko said that his first goal after inauguration would be to travel to Donetsk to tackle the growing secessionist movement. Russia has offered to work with the new government on that, and with Poroshenko's significant business interest in Russia, he is likely to be a more welcome choice for Ukraine's larger neighbor than some of the alternatives. Changing with the political winds has been Poroshenko's specialty. He was in the cabinets of both Timoshenko's government and the pro-Russian Yanukovych government until the end of 2012. After leaving that position, he jumped on the maiden protest bandwagon and used his pro-protester bona fides to sweep the election. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Despite being objectively awful people, newly engaged couple Ross Bird and Jessica Black want their upcoming wedding to really reflect their personalities. We're pulling out all the stops to have a kind of wedding that just screams us. We're going to have a bluegrass band playing 80s pop songs because Ross loves bluegrass, but I love 80s music. And then at the the end of the ceremony, uh, this is great, we're going to pass out sparklers to all the guests. Sources claim that a bunch of candles and f***ing mason jars and an Instagram photo booth will truly capture the essence of the insufferable pair. We didn't want some big stuffy ceremony. Yeah, it, no. should, it should feel more like a fun dance party yeah. with our friends. Because you know? the, uh, the night's about us, yes, but I mean, it's also, you know, about the people who make us, us. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And those people love us exactly for our uniqueness. Sources hoped with every fiber of their being that these two would be divorced within a year. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want. Toll free number 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online over at freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we share with you on the site. We're live, by the way. It is a Memorial Day edition of Free Talk Live. Uh, a lot of shows are either in rerun form today or they got some sort of fill-in host uh, in this case, we are here as we always are on a Monday night. The we tonight, uh, a little bit different. It's me, Ian. And Conan. And Mark. Conan is here courtesy of his show, Black Sheep Rising, which is available in both audio and video form. We'll talk more about that a little bit later on tonight. Conan, is your name Conan? Oh, yeah. Mama named you Conan. <laughs> Dad, Daddy called me Conan. 
<laughs> I don't think I don't think Mama or Granddad wanted to have anything to do with it. it is, was... is it on the birth certificate or just like you were called that since you were little? Nope, it's on the certificate. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. I always wondered. He's I got just, long I hair know. too, like a Conan should. <laughs> No, mu- no muscles, though. <laughs> it's, hard, so, it's hard for me to gain weight. Uh, lots of in the news. I mean, the, today's Memorial Day, so, of course, a lot of people are out at picnics and parades and, you know, various different... Barbecues. Me- yeah, Memorial Day-related activities, excuses to party, etc. And I went out to a, a Memorial Day parade today, and Conan, you were in the military. Mm-hmm. Which branch? Army. Four years. Four years in the Army. And uh, so... Now, do they make you do another four years in the Ready Reserve as well? There is an inactive service, and it depends on uh, your your enlistment and uh, whatever uh, whatever deal you signed off on. So I had four years active, four years inactive. So I went down to uh, Central what, Square and what's the shortest bid that you've ever heard of somebody doing um, in the military? Is mean, it, well, the guys who get out, the guys who decide they can't handle it and they yeah. can't hack it and they get out and after basic training or something. I'm in a contract. Mm-hmm. Is uh, like is there a one year? Because I've heard no. of two years. I think there's a two year. Yeah, I've heard of two years. But that's a... usually not. Uh, James was actually talking about uh, the fact that there might have been an additional eight years strapped onto my enlistment that I wasn't even aware of. That was you know somewhere in the fine print that right. I didn't see. Um, but I'm not sure about that. I think I'm out. <laughs> I think <laughs> they ha- they haven't called me back. Now I know when I first got out. That's when the war started. Yeah, so there was a chance they could have called you back. And two of my buddies did get called back. Mm -hmm. And one of them was a family man. He had a kid and the the new wife and whatnot. And uh, terrible. uh, I was. I had my fingers crossed the whole time. I, you know, I was. I was done with the stuff. It was. You know, I. I I knew what it was about. I knew it wasn't uh, a good career. Well, actually, it is a good career. It's just you know, unless in. Unless they have a war. (laughs) Right. Well, yes, indeed. Yeah, you might not be coming back. So this morning uh, was the Memorial Day Parade that the folks have here in the city of Keene, as it is called, southwestern corner of New Hampshire, where we all moved to as part of the Free State Project, which we'll talk more about here in a little bit. And I went out and I did uh, what I've done now. This is my third year doing this and uh, went out with a peace flag. First year I actually had a sign, the second year a peace flag, and I brought the peace flag out again this year. Just It's more fun to wave the peace flag. And uh, the, but the the signs were previously relating to peace, so the idea was to um, jump in the parade. And uh, you know, usually at the very end of the parade is when I will hop in, just kind of bring up the rear. And did they uh, have the kids from the karate studio? Yes, in this yes, year? they always have the the karate kids. I you know just to to show what this uh, parade's all about. It isn't certainly by any means exclusively military, right? No, certainly not. In fact, it's mostly not military. There are, you know, some marching bands from the local schools. The city council and mayor uh, walk down the street and wave at people. Because so, they're really serving. What, yeah. What's the point of that? Yeah. Well, I mean, they go and they speak usually at the. Anybody the ever shot at them? They have. No, I don't okay. think so. Well, okay. maybe some of them were in the military, but I don't. I wouldn't know which ones. Certainly not all of them are, and there were several of them who were. Who Politicians were there in the find a parade and get out in front of it. Yes. So that's where I was this morning, uh, walking down the street with my peace flag, and I got, you know, some positive responses from some people. I heard a couple of negative comments as well, as it tends to go with these sorts of things. I always wonder, like, I've I've been around for this. As a matter of fact, uh, I, I saw you, I think it was your first year or second year that you did this. I don't generally come in town for the Memorial Day parade. It's not my, you know, why would I do that? But what problem could somebody have with someone walking down the street in a pretty unorganized parade with a peace flag. Because That's it, because, a good because it seems like he's rubbing it in. He, he's rubbing he's, what he, in? He's, he's rubbing his hippie hippie peace nick uh, philosophy down, you know, their throats and it's the wrong time and place and it's all about dead military men. Yes, uh, that's a good summary, but I actually have a specific answer to your question. Exact quotes as were posted by people uh, sort of embracing that viewpoint that Conan is oh, right. uh, is describing. So I'll, I'll share some of those quotes with you here in a moment. Let's go to the phones first, where we have Dave in Nevada. You're on Free Talk Live via Skype. Hey, Dave. Hey, guys. How's it going? What's on your um, mind tonight? I first, go ahead. Just, I first just wanted to say I'd like to recognize all the people that have been murdered unjustly by the police on this uh, Memorial Day. But um, I just wanted to say real quick, too, I had the... Uh, pleasure of being able to do an interview with Daryl W. Perry on Friday. Um, 
and that's on Blog Talk Radio at slash nonpartisan liberty for all. Yeah, I heard but some of really the interview. Why, you were uh, you were asking oh, some really? good questions. Okay. Yeah, Daryl has a great story, and you know, he was he was great on the radio. So uh, I suggest that when you know listen to that, and you can find out more uh, about Daryl. But one of where, the, where the, the main reason why I, mean, I called, is, is I called big, Mon- Dave. Oh, sorry, Blog, Blog Talk, Talk Radio, Radio is a big slash site. Non-part- nonpartisan liberty for all. Okay, very good. So what were you calling um, about? So the the main, the main reason I called was I, I called months ago. Oh no, but, Skype is uh, failing us. An incident. Oh jeez. I think we've got you now. Go ahead. You hear me? Okay. And I'm trying to con- or no, we don't. Too, and not <laughs> Why don't you um, call us on the regular phone lines, Dave? Sorry back. about that. Toll free number is 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Maybe we'll have better luck with Chernobyl on the line. Chernobyl, you're on Free Talk Live. Or. No, we won't have better luck with Chernobyl. All right, then. Uh, so uh, let's go back to the story about the Memorial Day parade. What were people saying? Well, I posted on Facebook today a uh, public comment saying that uh, I walked at the end of the Memorial Day war parade today waving a peace flag, received good comments from several onlookers, and a couple of nasty comments. So in the 38 or so comments that I have, the first one that is challenging is from Richard Aldrich. He says, do you need to be reminded that Memorial Day is for remembering those our country sent to fight our battles and paid the ultimate sacrifice? Mm -hmm. Flying a peace flag during such a remembrance is not only inappropriate, it is disrespectful of those who died so you could be an effing moron. You just don't get it, do you? There's a time and place for protest, and you seem incapable of figuring out when that is. And this is a local to the Keene area. Okay. Um, doesn't sound very doesn't sound very like a big fan of your activism generally. He was actually one of the occupiers, and we got along fine then. And I guess then he learned enough enough about me to where he decided that I was uh, a bad person or something like that. All right. Um, so the so they're fighting your battles for you, Mark. Well, I don't. I, Memorial Day has. Uh, I think it's a long. I mean, it, it, is it from the American Civil War? The uh, Decoration Day. Yep, Decoration Day. So, um, as what that means to me is not remembering dead heroes as much as remembering live ones. Who's wearing the decorations, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it also goes back to the Civil War. I'm pretty sure the Civil War wasn't fought for, um, I mean, I suppose it was fought for the freedom of blacks, um, and that's, you know, that's laudable, but in a lot of ways it was fought for the preservation of the Union. That in and of itself, not so laudable. Um, The wars after that, World War I got us into World War II. You know, World War I, the United States presidents in World War I likely was the cause of Hitler's rise. Um, I mean, they, it's the Treaty of Versailles. Most people say the arduous, uh, you know, provisions of the Treaty, Treaty of Versailles, you know, ma- made it made the ground fertile for for Hitler to rise. What would have happened with Japan? I'm not sure. Um, likely, the United States, if it hadn't have been spread out over two uh, two fronts, would have uh, taken care of Japan more quickly. Maybe I'm wrong. So, uh, you know, we're, uh, what's what's after that? Vietnam probably didn't make us freer. I don't know. I mean, I just I, I get confused on this. I'm well, not sure what people are concerned with. We'll come back with more. Talk about it in greater detail. Conan's here, formerly in the Army. We'll get the veterans' perspective on this. It's Free Talk Live. Gold Bond presents Shaquille O'Neal. So I'm hanging out with my Gold Bond buddies, and they're like, Shaq, Shaq, great job with the Gold Bond powder spray. People love it. So I'm soaking in the good vibes, kicking off my shoes. Next thing I know, they're coming out with a new foot powder spray. Boom. Shaq strikes again. Gold Bond No Mess Powder Spray cools and refreshes your body. And new Gold Bond Foot Powder Spray has two times the odor-absorbing powders to do the same for your feet. Stay cool with Gold Bond. Summer is almost here, which means it's time to get out and play. And at the Guitar Center Memorial Day Sale, you'll find some of our lowest prices of the year on the best gear throughout the store. And with deals like Toka Djembe drums for only 19 bucks, or Squire Stratocaster electric guitars for only 89 bucks, or a digital reference mic for just 10 bucks, the only question is, where will you play? Guitar Center's Memorial Day Sale, now through Monday, in-store and online. 
On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years, hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. What if you could combine the two most powerful diet ingredients into one incredible weight loss super pill? We've done just that. For the first time ever, the miracle fat burner in a bottle, Raspberry Ketone, has been combined with pure Garcinia Cambogia, described as the holy grail of weight loss, to bring you the world's most powerful diet pill. Get your phone ready, because we're releasing free bottles to the first 100 callers. But wait, we haven't just combined the two most powerful weight loss ingredients. We've combined the six most powerful ingredients. Green coffee bean, African mango, moringa, and glucomonin. All the hottest clinically proven weight loss ingredients combined into one fat-shedding super pill. We call it the Skinny Six Super Supplement, and it's available for the very first time. Be one of the first 100 callers and we'll rush you a free bottle. Call 1-800-514-2945. Find out how to get your free bottle. 1-800-514-2945. 1-800-514-2945. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Take control of the airwaves here. Toll free at 855-450-FREE. You are welcome to share your thoughts on Memorial Day as we are in the studio live. We brought in ourselves a real live veteran as well. His name is Conan. And uh, we'll continue. We'll talk more about Conan here in a little bit. Also, take your calls. You don't have to call about Memorial Day or your thoughts on war the military, the state, etc. You can bring up anything that you want. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You want to hook up with some Bitcoins? They've been going up in price over the last week. Maybe now would be a good time to get some in case they keep going up. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. But uh, one thing you can know about Bitcoins are that they seem to be increasing in popularity. Now, will that result in a higher price over time? There's, there's. Oops, sorry, Conan, try that again. Yeah, more and more websites are are slapping that uh, we accept Bitcoin uh, sticker on their websites. They sure are, and actually more real-life locations as well. There's a burger place here in town that's talking about accepting Bitcoin now, mm-hmm. which is very exciting. So uh, so anyway, if you want to hook yourself up with some Bitcoins, you need to have a wallet first. You can get that for free over at blockchain.info. I use the blockchain.info wallet. It's a great little wallet. makes it easy if you've got an Android-based device to uh, to get into your Bitcoins. And if you don't have an Android-based device, you can still use their web wallet, and that works great, too, on any device. So blockchain.info to get your web wallet. And then when you're ready to load up with Bitcoins, or a fraction of a Bitcoin, 
Because you can buy as a small amount if you want. That's not a problem. You can, in fact, buy less than $40 worth through cashintocoins.com. And when you do that, you pay no fee on the, the transfer. Now, if you do more than $40 worth, there is a small fee involved, but a very, very reasonable fee. Maybe the best fee you'll find in the business. I, I, I would... It's going to be close. Uh, go to cashintocoins.com. It's the best fee I've seen. Cashintocoins.com is where you can go. All you need to do is uh, send them either a money order, check, or wire transfer. It is easy, safe, fast, legal, and inexpensive. And customer service is their top priority at cashintocoins.com. As we continue here, I think we actually have Chernobyl with us at this point uh, in Ithaca. Actually, his name is Zach. Go ahead, Zach. Hey, what's up? It's Chernobyl Kursk, which are two of the most auspicious events in Russian history I can think of. Uh, and I just, as a side note, I'll mention there is now a brothel in the UK that accepts Bitcoin. So awesome! Ooh. Catch a flight. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I know you guys are talking about uh, Funny. what's it called Memorial Day and all that. But you know the Elliot Rodger nutcase that killed all those people because he was a lonely, uh, horny psychopath. Uh, I, I'll refer back to the last time I called in. There was a, uh, a a big killing, you know, and I suggested that there would be a hug a loser day. I phrased it a little bit differently, uh, but there's obvious. I mean, you can't stop all the crazy horny losers out there from bringing crazy horny losers, but there is an argument to be made that there should be. I don't know if it's prostitution is the solution. I don't know if it's like you know blind dates or robot sex or something but there's certainly <laughs> certainly something lacking in the young adult male life for a lot of guys you're talking about the guy who shot people to death this weekend it was a friday santa well, he barbara stabbed California. Half of them. he stabbed a bunch of them but right he saying. stabbed his roommates his male roommates to death and then he went out on a uh, shooting spree and shot at some uh, some females on the santa barbara college campus as i understand it or very nearby well, it what made me call to think about this there's an article on vice right now you guys are familiar with that it's about how he was a uh, he was apparently a member of a pickup artist forum and was like, they're all celebrating, like, yeah, uh, we're, they're, they're involuntary celibate. They're called incels. And now they're all celebrating, like, hey, you know, we're, we're somebody now. One of our guys went out there and killed people. So Wow. I know that you guys, Mark, were talking about this in some detail last night. I heard a portion of the Sunday show, and there was some discussion about these pickup artist communities. Yeah, I mean, that's certainly, uh, apparently, he was frustrated with, uh, that he felt ripped off by the pickup artists, that things weren't working, <laughs> and, you know, many pickup artists have uh, used, you know, the, the teachers, the gurus of them have uh, used this as an opportunity to sort of, uh, you If know, he'd only bought my system, yeah. then he'd still be alive today, because yeah. he'd have gotten laid. Yeah, you know, game could have saved lives here was the, the one of the cl claims. Well, <laughs> he was in the community, right? So does that mean he... But uh, he was in, in a new community, which is people that are angry at this community. <laughs> oh, I see. So he had tried the pickup artist stuff. It didn't go well right. for him. I did A, B, and C, and D didn't happen. Yeah. How come I did A, B, and C, and D didn't happen? Well, because this is an interpersonal human relationship that we're talking about, not uh, putting together a Lego set. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it doesn't come with instructions that it work exactly that way. So, anyway, the guy's frustrated. I, I would really... He was. Yeah, he's dead. Now. Right. Okay, he's dead. I would really love to have a chance to sit down uh, with him live. Like, it's getting a little weird here. Him to be alive and me to sit down with him. Because so many times when people say... As a former pickup artist, you mean? Me? Am I a yeah, pickup yeah. artist? I, I okay. I wouldn't <laughs> yeah. use that terminology, but I was reasonably successful at With being women. single. Yeah. Um, the uh, I would like to know because so many people say I can't find somebody or whatever, mm -hmm. and what they mean, in fact, is they can't find somebody that meets their standards in whatever Which way. Which may be unrealistic. It may very well be yeah. unrealistic. This guy's like, I've got a really nice car. I should have the hottest blonde girl. Is basically what he I had. Three hundred dollars sunglasses. Uh, mm. So go ahead there, uh, Zach. Uh, what other thoughts did you want to share okay, on this? I have a homeless, uh, traveling, sign-flying junkie friend who doesn't bathe, and he has to beat the women off with a stick. It's ridiculous. Mm. Uh, so there's a car is not going to get you laid. A personality might. Uh, I would suggest to anyone who's really, really wanting to date outside of their league, uh, go to church and be nice and it's like breeding church. in captivity because 60% of, of people who go to church are female. So if you go to an evangelical Christian college, it's going to be more like 70%, 80%. And all these girls are just hot to trot. You know, they're all pent up. They're looking for a husband. <laughs> you could be their first ex-husband, I promise you. What about, what about college campuses as well? 
a Christian college campus. There you it's go. Like double, double ground so zero. So you're, you're suggesting to go after the <laughs> Christian girls because they're easier marks, because they're all really uh, horny, and, and you know, on no, one I hand, no, I wouldn't they... make that kind of a generalization. Some of the biggest freaks I've ever met. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but this came kind of, out of church. <laughs> okay, my one of my best friends. Were they preachers' lesbian. kids? Hold on. Were they preachers' kids that you've met that were freaks, or were they just average church girls? Uh, I mean. Everything was kept under the sheets, so to speak. But post 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 college, like youth ministry thing, a lot of like my one of my best friends, she was a Mormon missionary, blah blah blah. Now she is a butch bisexual with the hottest <laughs> girlfriend I've ever seen. It's like something out of the NBA. And she used to go around knocking on doors trying to tell you about Mormonism. So wow, I mean, there's really no telling. You might be going to church and meet a nice girl, and she'll like get me out. You know, we'll be normal together. So. There's hope to any horny young man out there. I'm telling you, this guy's funny. This, yeah, this is a good call. <laughs> if I drove, if I drove out to New Hampshire sometime, could I be on the show? I love talking to you guys. Um, yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Just most of the time, if a, like a free talk live amplifier is in town, will you know they could come in and uh, and observe the show, for instance. Um, but as far as getting on the air, you'd have to be a dedicated New Hampshire activist in order to really have a shot at, at getting a slot. Not on the everyone air. wants to live in New Hampshire, guys. That's not, not everyone gets to be on Free Talk Live. <laughs> <laughs> You're bigots. You're discriminatory. Well, thank you for taking my call. Hey, I thanks, Zach. Great call. Appreciate hearing from you. And interesting strategy as far as uh, meeting women. Conan, you you kind of been nodding your head. Do you feel like that you know he's onto something there? Well, I was actually nodding to uh, Mark's uh, proposal to talk to this dead guy and figure out what the hell's problem is i mean what what's going through his head why would he go to these lengths because well you don't have to talk to him he did write a 140 page manifesto oh, go to so manifesto you can I'm not just, reading a hundred and no you can it. dig through that and i'm sure there's all kinds of interesting gems we did read some of it i'm gonna on take a red Saturday. pen and just go through and they're handle probably the- going to create college courses about this guy. I'm going to do the grammar errors. All right, we'll come back with more here. You can share your thoughts here on Free Talk Live, the toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. Gentlemen, in search of a million-dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud, the fluoride-free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste, and safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com I'm a very bad man. And today I watched you leave for work. Then I kicked your door and took your stuff. Without a door devil reinforcing your door frame, it was like you invited me. Don't worry, I'll check back in a couple weeks. Once you've got new stuff. <laughs> Door Devils are available at participating Ace Hardware stores and locksmiths. Or visit DoorDevil.com. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at FPP.cc, as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at FPPradio.com. The monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc, and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. 
Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can take control of the airwaves here toll-free, 855-450-FREE. It's the live Memorial Day edition. We will take your calls about anything, although I would like to hear from you how you feel about Memorial Day and you know some of the, uh, the activities that are inevitably connected to it, like, oh, the murder of innocent people around the world at the hands of the United States uh, federal government. So we can talk about that. Also, I was in the Memorial Day parade this morning. Uh, I added myself on to the end of it with my peace flag, and we'll read some of the responses that people have posted on Facebook, because inevitably some people are going to be very upset about uh, something like that happening. We'll share that with you. Plus, Conan is here, former Army uh, he will give his thoughts, and yours are welcome as well at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I mentioned earlier the blockchain.info app for your Android device or your web wallet on any device. Great product. Blockchains come out with something new, except now you can get this new product from blockchain.com. You go to blockchain.com, and that's where you get the blockchain merchant app which you would want to put on like a point of sale device some sort of an android based device at your point of sale at the cash Tablet register or a smartphone yeah you put it on the device and then that makes it easy for you to accept bitcoin from your customers in reality in physical reality there are plenty of tools online to accept bitcoin it's accepting them in reality from a human being that is a bit of a more challenging process and blockchain.com has come up with a solution and there are no terms of service or ID requirements to get started with it. There's zero fees as well from blockchain.com. So really, you've got nothing to lose. Give it a shot. Blockchain.com. Go grab their new app and get it on your favorite Android-based device. We go to Jeffrey Tucker calling, I presume, from Alabama, but I'm not real sure. Where are you tonight, Jeffrey? I am in Alabama, which is a great, th- it's a great thing. I'm, gl- I'm glad to be home and getting some work done instead of just fighting fighting TSA agents all the time, which just seems like my life a lot of the, a lot of the time. So. Yeah, travel can be frustrating. I know I sure do appreciate uh, being able to come back to New Hampshire. Yeah, no, it can, it can be it can be frustrating. Sometimes it's amazing. Other times it's just hell. So, you know, the the, the old – if you look at the, the etymology of the word um, travel, um, you can trace it to a kind of Latin uh, old French derivative meaning <clears throat> don't do it or you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> that was – that was the origin of the term, and and the Middle Ages was it was this way. You didn't you didn't dare leave your homestead, you know, with your stuff, because you know, like a uh, uh, hundred yards down the road, the guy is just immediately taking it and leaving you for dead. I mean, that's mm. the way life was. So, it, you know, I, so really, this is a first world problem in some ways. You know, I'm glad for the fact that I can get anywhere and do anything, but yeah, I can. Well, still there's be- still our highwaymen who may just waylay you and take your stuff. Uh, yeah, there's still but, that but possibility. Yeah, but, yeah, and they're employed by uh, U.S. taxpayers. Exactly. <laughs> so, Jeffrey, it's Memorial Day. Did you have some thoughts you wanted to share? I do, and I, I, I would like to give a tribute 
to um, my favorite sector in the military, if I may. Please. Military yeah. intelligence. Yeah. No, it's not the intelligence agency. So I, <clears throat> here's the thing. You, you, you simply can't believe this, really. But um, I, what I'm about to say is absolutely true. Uh, it's just incontrovertible fact, uh, and it has been true for about the last uh, 30 years. There is a Air Force jazz band called the Airmen of Note. That is the finest, by far, jazz orchestra in the world. <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, tr just look it up. You know, you can go to Google uh, Play. You can go to your iTunes. You can go to YouTube. Airmen of Note, and these people are so precise and so uh, 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 virtuosic. Um, every single member of this band is the best of the best of the best. And the music they play is bouncy and full of life and full of energy and, and exudes a sense of liberty and freedom. And um, I'm, I'm always just delighted by these people because, I mean, I'm just, there's something just glorious about this idea that you sign up for the military, but your job is to play, you know, drums. <laughs> and a great jazz orchestra. We I had mean, a guy that uh, actually called in one time that was in, it might have been, I don't know, some military band, and he he, yeah. uh, he he fought with the French horn for four years. Exactly. That's what you want to do. I mean, if you're going to go into the military, that's what you want to do. But in particular, what's, what's intriguing to me about the Airmen of Note is that the repertoire in which they specialize, which is a sort of, I, was, I would call it late big band, is revolutionary music. This is music banned by the Nazis. Hmm. You, know, uh, uh, you know, every note, you know, defies the regime. Uh, the, the music, you know, it just bespeaks a, a sense of freedom and, and, and the original idea of, of America of, you know, sort of reckless abandon to do what you want. I mean, every note they play is this way. And I, I just kind of consider the Airmen of Note a sort of um, subversive outpost you know, with, within, within what is otherwise basically a massive institution dedicated to, to killing and being killed. And, and it delights me to hear them um, because um, it's, so, it's so full of life and energy and, and, and exuding a sense of freedom, you know. And my proposal for the reform of the military is essentially to turn the whole of the military establishment into just lots of... One big uh, old band. One, one big jazz band. <laughs> Basically, why, and, why and do you I, why do you think the Airmen of Note are are better than other bands that you might have listened you know, I'm to? I'm not entirely sure I understand it. I think I think that there's a lot of people who've been trained. I've been thinking about this. A lot of people who've been trained in instruments, you know, in our sort of public school program, and who feel a, a drive towards the arts, and that otherwise are denied opportunities for whatever reason. They find themselves in the military, and then the, and then then they have talent. Um, but what I can can tell you is that every single member of the Airmen of Note, and it's been true for 20 or 30 years, is amazing and if you just listen to them they're, they're like better than co regular commercial bands um like i, I don't know well, if they get big paychecks and <laughs> commercial maybe. bands have to work their butts off for that money. yeah that's maybe that's maybe that's it but but it's like the only decent thing the military actually produces though so hmm. i i do think it, it's it's in recognition of of actual productivity and actual contribution to the world this, this band has been leading the way for so many years in terms of sort of excellence in the jazz arts Oh, that's good to know about, and yeah. uh, you know that's something I I certainly had never heard of before. Do you feel a little guilty, uh, though, enjoying something like that, given that it's funded no, by you, tax dollars? Because I'm I, I always I always feel like every member of that band is secretly sort of uh, laughing, you know, in their sleeve. Like we're playing this great music, defying the authorities. We had to go through this rotten boot camp, you know. We're we're in this regimented system. We're we're basically slaves, and here we are playing tributes uh, to, to, fr to freedom and uh, inspiring people around the world to, to break free of your, your chains, and that, which is basically what the message of this music is. Um, th this is great music. They, they play it so well. And I, I have to believe that, you know, in the same sense that you know, people who have been uh, enslaved, you know, sometimes create the greatest art. It, it's the same way with uh, the Airmen of Note. I mean, they are so <laughs> good and so brilliant. Yeah. So another uh, related question for you, Jeffrey. Uh, we were, just before you came on, reading an excerpt from a Facebook post after I had gone into the uh, Memorial Day parade with my peace flag today. Uh, mm. Some people are pretty upset about that, and one yeah. guy says that, uh, it's uh, that flying a peace flag during such a remembrance is inappropriate and disrespectful, and uh, that I'm an effing moron. So wh what do you think about that, the, the idea of... 
uh, coming up at the very end of a police uh, a, a police a, um, a a parade like that dedicated to, to war with a peace you flag. You mean to, to, to come out with um, for for ethics and morality? Yes. Uh, yeah. And a and a public occasion. <laughs> That seems to be like the only civilized thing to do. I'm such a monster, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, the strange thing about government is that it, it violates our core, uh, as an institution, it violates our core moral sense, you know, of in favor of hu hu humaneness and, and peace and, and getting along with others and, and figuring out how to make our lives more productive and, 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 lo and lovely. That's, that's the driving force of life itself. Government is the opposite of all those things. And, and the war-making power of government, it represents the ultimate sort of um, uh, teeth of the, of the state in some way. I mean, government's always making war, a, a, a foreign war or domestic war, always. Certainly true. Uh, it feeds yeah. off of that conflict and yeah. uses it as an excuse to grow ever so larger and more expensive and more oppressive. As always, Jeffrey, it's great having you on Free Talk Live. And I know you've been busy recently with the recent launch of Liberty.me. I imagine yeah. that's keeping you busy. It's, it's, it's mighty. It's wonderful. I'm, I'm thrilled with the way things are going. Cool. Thanks so much for having me tonight. For Thanks for coming on the show tonight, <laughs> Jeffrey. It's the live <laughs> Memorial Day edition of Free Talk Live. We continue with more of your thoughts here. Welcome. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. This is Free Talk Live. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. Hey everyone, have you heard about the No No Hair Removal Device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host, Cheryl, for No No Hair Removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my No No. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No No Hair has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors. So it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the No-No, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card. And you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible No-No hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $40 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $40 price only lasts through Porkfest, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. 
You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Have you ever wanted to move to the land of Libpair, Libertarian Paradise, where there's fun for everyone that doesn't initiate force on others, fun for the kids, parties for the adults, buy and sell in silver or Bitcoin, scenic hikes and gun shoots, speeches to educate us all? The Porcupine Freedom Festival is Libpair in the White Mountains of New Hampshire for a week this summer, June 22nd to 29th. Get your tickets now before there's no more room. Porkfest, the event of a lifetime. Porkfest.com. That's P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you'd like. Just dial in toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online at freetalklive.com. Yeah, we've got all kinds of features waiting for you there. If you enjoy this program and you want to help support Free Talk Live, there are a couple of ways you can do that. A few of them, actually. You can go and shop with us at shop.freetalklive.com. You enter Amazon through the links you'll find there. There's Amazon UK, Amazon US. And Amazon Canada. You just click into the right Amazon for you. You get your shopping taken care of. And Free Talk Live will get a cut from Amazon's profits. You get the same great deals you're used to. The same huge selection. Free super saver shipping. Everything that's typical about Amazon. You're just entering through our affiliate link. So Free Talk Live gets a cut of the sale. So go to shop.freetalklive.com. In fact, uh, there was somebody online today who had expressed an interest in getting one of the flags that I was waving as I got in the Memorial Day parade. And that flag I purchased on Amazon, and I bought 20 of them. I got, I got the same one. That Wait, it's a good thing they keep stealing them. Yeah, well, that was the idea. That way I'd have a whole bunch in, uh, in backup in case I needed them, which I knew I would eventually. And I actually managed to sell several of them when I was at the Liberty Forum. These are a very nice flag and you know, under five bucks with mm-hmm. free shipping on uh, on Amazon. So maybe I'll put a link up to that on our Facebook uh, profile here in a little bit. First, though, we go to your phone calls and thoughts. We'll continue on the Memorial Day subject here as well. What sort of a response did I get this morning when I entered the, the very end of the Memorial Day parade with a peace flag? We'll con- uh, continue talking about that. Steve is on the line calling from the State of Misery. You're on Free Talk Live. Steve. Yes, Mark. Well, Mark's here, too, and Conan. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Uh, basically, I, I totally agree that, like, war and aggression are bad things. And, like, people shouldn't do that. But I did have a question for you guys. Do you think there's ever been a justified war you know, I in think this is our a, like, uh, recent history? I think this is a tough question to answer. Um, I, you know, of, of the wars in U.S. history, I kind of like the Revolutionary War. I don't like war, but I mean, you know, if you're asking me to pick my favorite form of, uh, you know, violent destruction of human life, I suppose that uh, the Revolutionary War is, you know, is that recent enough for you or do you want me to do you want a more recent one for freedom? Well, I was thinking I thought about it earlier today and I I was like, well, World War Two was was that justified? I think World War Two's. I got to. Yeah, it's compound. It's a, a compounded conundrum. Um, for one, it's more than one war. Uh, there's the Euro- for the for the United States. There's the European theater and the Pacific theater. So you got to kind of look at those um, and you know what what went on in both cases there. Also, World War II really was a conflict between uh, Hitler and Stalin. Um, in many cases, that's where the the people died. Um, you know the, that that clash. But I I would have to say to some extent. I think that World War II, the European theater of World War II, was caused by the United States' intervention in World War I. Follow me on this, if you will. The United States really had no good reason to get into World War I. There was this kind of uh, dubious claim that Germany was uh, trying to court Mexico into attacking the United States. And if it is true, so what? It doesn't mean that the United States needs to get involved in the European th- uh, theater of World War I. Um, if it hadn't gotten involved, likely there would have been a bit more of a stalemate. Germany probably would have still lost, but there would have been a bit more of a stalemate, and they wouldn't have been able to have the arduous provisions of the Treaty of Versailles, which then made the ground fertile for a, you know, 
angry, charismatic leader like Hitler to rise up. So it's, would there have been another conflict? Perhaps, but there probably wouldn't have been Hitler. Okay. That actually makes a lot of sense. I was Because my next question was going to be, well, a lot of people say on Memorial Day, they say, hey, if these people hadn't sacrificed themselves, then we wouldn't have freedom. We'd all be speaking German. Yep, I've heard that one a bunch right. of times. You believe that, Conan? Yeah. No. Why? Uh, well, actually, uh, considering the amount of German ancestry in the United States, I think that even during the founding days, that there was a big uh, move to decide. There was, they had to decide, w- w- are we going to go with English or are we going to go with German? And I think it was mm. decided by one vote. Benjamin Franklin really? is, I think, the guy who was the deciding vote. Well, <laughs> Benjamin Franklin was no fan of Germans, I can assure you. He uh, was talking bad about, well, what would, would have been become the Amish at some point. Uh, you know, he just didn't, they're never going to assimilate. <laughs> I, that might have been in Pennsylvania. I doubt that that was for the rest of the colony. Mm. That would be my guess. Steve, any other thoughts you want to share? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I just wonder, I just don't think that is true, though, that if we hadn't sacrificed, yeah, I think I think we'd still have freedom. Well, the suggestion you know, we is that uh, that somehow Hitler would have been able to effect a takeover of the United States in order to impose his view and language uh, on people, and it's a ridiculous claim. I mean, he was already strung pretty thin throughout all of Europe. How the hell would he have possibly have taken over the U.S. landmass, even if he tried? Yeah, it probably would have been pretty difficult. Although yeah. Tojo, too, you know, you got the other side. Yeah, I well, think wasn't that- Tojo famous or one of his generals or something famous for talking about how uh, there was like behind a, every blade of grass a gun in America? That's and- likely not a true uh, true quote. But oh, really? it's, you're it's, the one who cited it previously. I have tr- cited it previously, and then I've uh, rescinded it a few times I now. See. Um, it's, it's a it, good quote, uh-huh. it, but it's likely they. I mean, the, the truth. You're not going to invade the U.S. Uh, landmass. To, Japan wasn't. But a conflict between the United States and Japan was inevitable in the Pacific theater. Um, my biggest concern with World War II um, in the, the Pacific theater is really the dropping of the atomic weapon on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, that I don't think that there was any necessity for an invasion of the Japanese homeland. They were already beaten. They knew they were beaten. They were suing for peace with uh, through Russia, and that's how and that's how these things used to be done, is, is you'd always go through this more neutral third party to sue for peace. They were already asking that. The only thing they asked for, um, the condition of their surrender, was that the emperor remained the emperor. The United States said unconditional surrender, Mm. dropped the bombs, then accepted the unconditional surrender, then let the emperor stay the emperor. (laughs) And I just, you know, I mean, people can sort of what if what would have happened if the atomic weapons hadn't have been dropped, but it looks for all the world like they were just dropped to see, hey, what the hell do these things do? Mm. And we found out. Sick. Steve, thanks for your call tonight, man. I appreciate hearing from you. Dave is back with us in Vegas, hopefully on a better connection this time. He uh, had some Skype troubles earlier in the hour. Go ahead with your thoughts, Dave. Hey, guys, sorry about that. Skype is a great thing, but not when it's not working. Yeah, when it works. It's great. Go ahead. Um, I I don't know what I got to earlier. I just, again, wanted to mention that uh, interview with Daryl is out there at Blog Talk Radio slash Nonpartisan Liberty for All, so you can listen to that. Um, Months ago, I had talked about a case where I was arrested for obstruction of an officer uh, in detail, not to get into too much detail, but I was on private property um, of a friend of a friend. I was sitting in my car. The cops claimed, you know, they came over, basically gun at my head, and claimed that they asked me to get in the car. I said that I said no, f you, and then said they asked me again, and I said no, f you, pig, which wasn't what happened, but hmm. it's still of not obstruction. They never got any report on. They said they were called for a home invasion. Never got any report. Never questioned anybody. Nothing, and they admitted that in trial. So I had uh, in Nevada, you don't get a jury trial if the maximum penalty is six months in jail, $1,000 fine. Mm -hmm. Supreme Court has ruled on that. How they say it's a petty crime um, and how that doesn't, like, you know, ruin people's lives and they want to make that determination, that's a whole other issue. That's ridiculous. So I had the trial. Judge admitted I had huge bruises all over me. I had actually posted them in the LRN or or the FTO uh, AMP. Facebook page. I don't know if you ever got to see them, but I mean, they're huge. They're not like a little, you know, that's like a couple of scrapes or something. I mean, these are huge bruises. So one that go went from like my wrist to my elbow, all mm. black. Um, and one on my back that can clearly show that, you know, there was like a knee in my back or something like that. Wow. So the judge saw those. He uh, said, well, I recognize these are from the police, but you're guilty. 
Uh, <laughs> the city attorney, as ridiculous, the city attorney wanted to put me in jail for 60 days. Mm. She pled with the judge. They ended up saying, well, 90 day suspended sentence, which they say, oh, we're going to hold this over your head. Impulse control classes. I got a gun at my head, but, you know, impulse control there. And a thousand dollar fine, which the impulse control is like 300 and something. So it comes up to 13 something. Appeal and this was all because to... you were sitting in your car somewhere the cops didn't like? I was on private property at a friend of a friend's house. And it was actually two years ago now, Memorial Day weekend, 2012. And I didn't drive. I had somebody else drive because I was drinking. So I was in the passenger seat. Mm -hmm. And they said they got a call and they went to the house. And I guess the only thing they said in trial was that, I guess, the, the friend of a friend, the house who, who the person who lived there, uh, he, he lived with his mother and he was OK with it. But his mother, all she did was come out and point at the car when they got there. They never questioned her and never filed a report, nothing. So that, yeah, that's really all that happened. So I appealed it because, I, you know, it, 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 the whole thing is ridiculous. And I, I obviously didn't take the plea deal. Like, so no, you I'm were charged and, and convicted on what was the crime? The alleged crime? Obstruction of an officer. Now, stand by. Uh, you appealed the case, and we can continue and find out what, what has happened since then in moments. More with Dave here in Vegas. 855-453 is the toll-free number. You can bring up whatever you want. It is the live Memorial Day edition. I'd love to have your thoughts, uh, whether you're a veteran or not. It's Free Talk Live. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at FFF at FFF.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's FFF at FFF.org. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Monday, May 26, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,293, silver opened at $19.44, and Bitcoin is trading at $586.60. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication for all your print and audio duplication needs. Mention promo code LIBERTY and get 5% off all DVD and CD duplication jobs. Online at affordablesound.com or call them up 512-459-5253. Support also comes from Voice and Exit, maximizing human flourishing through radical innovation. Tickets on sale now. Get 10% off with promo code FREEDOM, June 21st at Austin Music Hall. Get yours at voiceandexit.com. In the news, residents of two counties in southern Oregon have voted to ban genetically modified crops. Activists and farmers in Oregon spent around $400,000 in an effort to force companies like Syngenta and Monsanto out of Josephine and Jackson counties. The new law gives growers of GM crops a year to harvest or destroy the plants. Syngenta and Monsanto are expected to fight the law in court. 
A new mobile app update for Facebook has some users concerned about data collection by a smartphone microphones. The new app from Facebook is designed to help users identify music or television shows they're watching or listening to, but critics fear how the data may be used once saved. Facebook confirmed the data is saved but promises anonymity. Before the IB Times broke the story, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg reportedly denied any involvement in the program. Well, June 5th, 2014 marks the one-year anniversary of the first leaks from NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden and the launch of renewed fights against surveillance around the world. Beginning this coming June 5th, events in the UK, the US, South America and Canada will be held to continue raising awareness about surveillance and how it can be stopped. The Electronic Frontier Foundation is calling on concerned individuals everywhere to tell your family and friends, tell the politicians, to stand up to government spying and tell companies to change data collection practices. The EFF also calls for supporting the software community's efforts to create end-to-end -end encryption services. Support for Liberty Beat comes from The Corey Moore Show, live Friday nights, 9 o'clock central at CoreyMooreShow.com. And support comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. They don't feed the banks by taking credit cards, but you can bet they take Bitcoin. Online at rrbi.co or by phone at 800 874-9760. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, May 26, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. A United States District Judge will allow the force feeding of a Guantanamo Bay inmate. Judge Gladys Kessler has ordered the temporary restraining order she implemented not be reissued. Her decision stems from what she calls the swiftly deteriorating physical condition of the prisoner due to a hunger strike. Russia Today reports that force feeding involves strapping a detainee into a chair and then pouring a liquid nutritional supplement directly into the stomach through a nasal tube. Despite the painful nature of the force feeding, Judge Kessler says it should be used in order to prevent the death of the hunger-striking inmate. Transgender passengers have undergone heightened scrutiny when passing through airport security checkpoints. That word from Al Jazeera, which obtained documents through the Freedom of Information Act. Among them are civil rights complaints, incident reports, and internal memos and emails from the DHS's Office for Civil Rights and Civil Liberties and the Transportation Security Administration. According to Al Jazeera, the documents show that transgender travelers have been required to undergo pat-down searches by officers of the opposite gender and reveal personal gender-based items, among other issues. A federal lawsuit is filed against the Chicago Police Department. That follows allegations from a tanning salon manager who says a police raid led to her brutalization by officers who also committed a hate crime and tried to cover up their own wrongdoings. CNN reports the raid, which happened in July of last year, was captured on video and shows an officer striking the defendant, who is kneeling and handcuffed. Jessica Kleizak is of Chinese descent, and the video captured officers making references to her background, including one officer who said he would put her in a UPS box and send her back to wherever she came from. The raid was conducted due to an allegation that an employee offered a sex act to an undercover officer. Support for Liberty Beat comes from the Center for Natural Living Safe Water Initiative. Learn more at austinsafewater.com. And support comes from Cabo Bob's, non-GMO chips, homemade tortillas, and no high fructose corn syrup in anything. Online at cabobobs.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, May 26, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan. A man thanks God he's not sexually attracted to children, and Popeye's home is boiglerized. Week in and week out, you come back like a housebroken Pomeranian, loyal to the bitter end. Good boy. This is the Onion Week in Review. Georgia's Cobb County Evangelical Hospital held its fifth annual Walk to Cure Gayness today, reportedly drawing thousands of participants to raise funds that would cure sufferers of their homosexuality and make gayness a thing of the past. Hospital administrators told reporters that funding from the walk would go into providing new state-of-the-art gayness treatment equipment, along with remodeling the hospital's physical therapy center, which has spent nearly 14 years reteaching gay men how to walk properly. Oh God, I was a goner. But as you can see, I'm now happily married to a woman, and as of next month, I will have been in full remission for two whole years. I'm just so very, very happy. Everything's really good in my life. This is the Onion News Network.
is Free Talk Live. We're launching into the second hour of the program. Plenty of time for your call and thoughts. You can dial in toll-free here. It's the live Memorial Day edition of the show. With you in the studio tonight, it's Ian here. And Conan. And Mark. Conan is here, courtesy of Black Sheep Rising. I heard you guys celebrated your 52nd episode Yeah, recently. you know what? And we didn't do anything. We just said it was 52 and just kept on trucking. Well, you know what? That's how kind of how we handle things here at Free Talk Live. Yeah. Uh, but I think that's good news uh, that you've been, prior to doing Black Sheep Rising, which is both an, available in audio and video form, Correct. blacksheeprising.org, mm-hmm. the website, uh, prior to doing that, you were producing uh, Free Keen TV, or Shire TV, Shire TV, Shire TV, which was previously Free Keen TV, and you decided that Shire TV was kind of like a news format, local news, basically, with local announcers. It's uh, something that you produced at the the cable access channel here mm-hmm. in town as a, as kind of a liberty project with other free state project participants uh, right i got New sucked Hampshire into it natives and things like that and it was a lot of work and you just didn't feel like it was really where your heart was you put in a, like a good half year's worth of episodes i think at least right so you really put in a lot of time on it and i think probably you know Hone some skills. As, mm-hmm. I got uh, as my well. I got my whistle wet. It was yeah. it was good learning process. And then you decided, you know what, we're going to retire Shire TV and launch something that you did feel more appropriate for yourself and what you wanted to do. And that's Black Sheep Rising. What is it? Black Sheep Rising is a uh, local uh, pod uh, vodcast here in uh, in Keene. Uh, a lot of the panelists uh, that that come every Sunday are actual activists here in the area, and mm-hmm. we do talk a lot about what's going on. I mean, sometimes we'll just go right down the Free Keen blog, and we'll talk about the stories that, uh, you know, you know, that we find most intriguing. If we run out of things like, you know, that category, we'll, we'll branch out and talk about maybe New Hampshire politics or, uh, or things that are going around the world. Um, and it really does depend on who the guests are, mm-hmm. uh, and, that, and that's the kind of show you're going to get. If Daryl is on... Uh, we're going to be talking politics. Right. Uh, if the Robin Hooders are on, we're going to be drinking Maggie Hassan vodka, uh, maybe smoking <laughs> on the uh, hookah, uh, doing movie reviews and stuff like that. So it really depends. And I think, and I've found that uh, there there are guests, or I'm sorry, there are fans who will you know pick and choose, and they're looking for depending the, on who's on. Yeah, the they're show. looking for the panelists, uh, and that'll that'll decide whether they actually watch or not. But yeah, it's on uh, it's on the iTunes, it's on Stitcher. Uh, cool, you can man. you can manually download the audio or watch the videos at blacksheeprising.org. That's right, and, and uh, it also appears on LRN.fm in our podcast loop as well. So and it, and it plays on Channel Eight on Wednesday nights at ten right here in Keene. Well, now, does it air first on the television and then it goes to the internet after that? It takes me that long to get it to the internet. Yes, yeah, so yes, it will it will air first on the TV. That's that's my priority. Yep. And then uh, I'll uh, procrastinate another day or two and to finally upload it to the uh, to the web. You know, it's amazing how many people here in Keene, New Hampshire, which is a relatively small community of 25, 24,000 people, it's amazing how many of them actually watch uh, mm-hmm. the local cable access channel because it's the only local content available on cable television. And, you know, as much as we here in the radio world uh, love radio, a lot of people like TV mm-hmm. and uh, having liberty oriented content. On one of the top channels in the area, I think is is a great work. So congratulations to you, Conan, for keeping keeping it going for a full year. Oh, yeah. Black Sheep Rising, that's huge. So check it out at blacksheeprising.org. We bring Dave back in Vegas. Dave, you were uh, arrested by the police for obstruction of an officer. Uh, I don't know what their exact claim was against you, but you were in a car. You were in the passenger seat. You had been drinking, but again, you were in the passenger seat, and there was somebody else in the driver's seat. Somebody called the police on you in this case. You were at someone's house, and apparently his mom called on you. Can you give us a, a quick recap there? Yeah, I, I believe that's who called, but I think it might have been because of the noise or something, and no charges, uh, or not no charges, but no report was ever um, done by the police. They didn't interview anybody. And the obstruction of an officer charge is clear in that it says willfully, meaning that you have to purposefully intend to interfere with their investigation. Obviously, I wouldn't even know what they're doing or if they're even investigating something. But basically, their main claim is saying that they asked me to get out of my car and I said no, which is not even what happened. But even if that was, it's still not violating that law. But Um, yet you were found guilty and now you're appealing. So what's going on with that? Yeah, so I appealed to district court. um, And this was, I think that was filed, the first trial was over a year ago in May of 2013. They ruled on that about a week and a half ago and agreed with the initial court how they came to that finding. I have no idea. 
So now, and that cost me, I think, eighteen hundred. The first case cost me a thousand. Whoa! Hold on, hold on. Eighteen. Wait, 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 wait. Eighteen hundred just to appeal? Yeah. Did you did you hire oh a def- did you hire a defense team? Or is it just you? But I don't know if you call that a, a team, but <laughs> I hired a lawyer. You did so have a lawyer. I, mean, I was going to say, you don't get a team of lawyers for $1,800 ever. No, and that's only because it would have been more, but being that this is like the lowest possible crime you can be charged with. I mean, not the specific crime, but so, the you know definition just, of these crimes that are misdemeanors. I'm sorry. Just ahead. to clarify, the $1,800 was for the appeal or yeah. for the appeal including the cost of the lawyer, or was it more on top of that for the lawyer? No, I'm sorry. This is in total. Okay. That's in total. Yeah. That's Explain not, the not fees to, to Ian to real quick. Court. Explain the fees to us real yeah, quick. F- so the first the first sure. go round was what twenty three hundred. No, the the first was a thousand. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, sixteen hundred. I hired an initial lawyer that was a friend of um, my friend's brother, so they gave me a big discount and discharged mm-hmm. six hundred just to go to court for me. Yep. Then I got rid of them and I hired another lawyer to uh, do the trial. That was a thousand, so there's sixteen hundred there. Okay. Then I, um, for the appeal, it was fifteen hundred for lawyers' fees and three hundred for the transcript. Wasn't there some no, class more. you had to take too that uh, you had to pay for three hundred bucks? Well, I, I didn't have to. I didn't have to do what. This doesn't include what they're saying I owe because I haven't had to pay that yet. All right. But what because of the appeal, it should have nullified this decision. And and actually, after the appeal I just made, I had to go to court. And now they're wanting me to start these classes, even though I'm filing an appeal to the Supreme Court, oh, wow. which is going to cost me $2,500 in lawyer's fees. I think $2,500 will be everything, as from what I understand. That, that and all of, you're doing all of this for what is, you know, you've been sentenced to 90 days suspended sentence, meaning you, there's no jail time. There's a $1,000 fine. No. You're doing it for thing. the principal. Of the you're thing. doing this for the principal. And the, um, Right, the impulse control classes, which are like three hundred. So yeah, I could pay less and just take the impulse control classes, and I'd pay thirteen something in total instead of paying twenty five hundred dollars to the lawyer. The only difference is, yeah, I wouldn't have a minor misdemeanor on. I don't even call it my record; it's the record that the state wants to keep of me. So yeah, I mean that would be the only difference. But but it, after it, all said and done, I mean, when if you go up to the Supreme Court and you lose. Then you're out. You still have to, you know, the district court decision or the lower court decision will stand. You'll still have to pay the money and or do, I I hope, community services available down there. That's a good way to deprive the state of some of those fines. But uh, you'll have to jump through their hoops anyway, and then you'll be out five grand for all these attorney's fees. Yeah, I'll be about 5,500 in attorney's fees, and then I'll have to pay, you know, the $1,000 fine. And then it's, no matter what, I don't think I can avoid the impulse control class uh, money to pay for that. Man. And they want me to start it next month. And my lawyer, because um, as soon a week after the decision was made, they, of course, called me right back because they want their, their money or what they're calling their money. Um, and my lawyer said, well, you know, we're going to file with the Nevada Supreme Court, you know, to put a hold. And it, it will put a hold on it. But the judge still said, no, I want to get these classes, you know, done. I'm like, so I have to take the classes, even though the, the wow. court – could rule for me, and then I would be out the money and have to take, yeah. you know, be out That's the ridiculous. Time. The sentence so, is supposed to be, I mean, I, maybe it's different in Vegas or in uh, Nevada, but here in New Hampshire, the sentence is frozen when you appeal. Like, everything that well, happened it, it is. is frozen. It is by, once it's filed with the Nevada Supreme Court, the Supreme Court will freeze it. And he know, knows that, but it wasn't filed yet. Uh-huh. He's, it's basically, he's, he's doing it on purpose to say, you know, this is my decision, and you're trying to appeal it because I he knows see. it's on principle. He knows I could pay less money, and right. you know, just pay it off. And it's about the precedence that you, hopefully this will set. Do you feel because like these attorneys work. have been worth the money so far? Well, I mean, should I have to be going through any of this at all? You know, it's it's like um, I think what came up on a, on another call was it, it's a no win situation. You know, once you're arrested, you don't get your money back. You don't get. Your oh yeah, all back. you can do is you damage control anything. at that point. And uh, Dave, exactly. thanks for the call tonight. I wish you the best. I just feel like in a situation like that, I like the idea of standing for principle, but I also don't like the idea of giving the state any more money than necessary. And uh, if there's a friendly lawyer, I'd prefer that lawyer be willing to take the case on, uh, you know, on spec and not have to pay the attorney because odds are good you're going to lose and then you're out all the money for the attorney it's free talk live 
Angioprim can unclog blocked arteries and improve blood flow in all parts of your body. Angioprim is oral chelation, easy, simple, liquid oral chelation. You take it with juice before breakfast and forget about it. Angioprim works fast, unlike old-fashioned chelation that takes hours. Just log on to Angioprim.com. That's Angioprim, A-N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M, Angioprim.com. Angioprim users say they have more energy, more strength, more endurance. Increased circulation and blood flow will make all your body parts work better. Log on to Angioprim.com to get more information on how you can get started and start feeling better, having fun, and doing more again. Lots more. Talk to a trained Angioprim consultant. Call Angioprim toll-free at 877-882-7221. That's 877-882-7221. Or log on for complete information. Angioprim.com. That's Angioprim.com. Find out how Angioprim can work for you. Get the facts about Angioprim at Angioprim.com. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. The newly developed unmanned Pentagon spokes drone completed its first live mission today, successfully carrying out a press conference on the war in Iraq. The mobile press engagement unit is being hailed by Pentagon officials as a revolutionary advancement in protecting military personnel. The spokes drone proved effective at neutralizing reporters' questions about 85% of the time. Many officials say the unit has the potential to save countless careers. Using a high-tech gimbal camera and microphone system, the unit tracks reporters' movements and audio output, then analyzes the data to assess the threat level. It formulates and deploys an effectively vague response. We have taken away a number of the enemy sanctuaries and gained initiatives in the areas. Eileen. Military technology experts see the unit as adaptable to a wide variety of treacherous interview scenarios. They estimated it could even withstand situations too hostile for any human spokesman to bear, such as anti-war documentary interviews. This is the Onion News Network. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you want. Dial toll-free to 855-453. That's 855 450 Three seven three three, and we've got Skype. You can Skype into the show. Our username there is lrn.fm. We are going, Ian. You and I going to the North American Bitcoin Conference in Chicago, Illinois. It's wow, uh, cool. July nineteenth and twentieth. Yeah, you told me about this. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Going to be a big deal. It's at the uh, Chicago 
McCormick Place South Building. I've never been to Chicago. Uh, but it's going to be inside the loop right there in uh, you know downtown hmm. Chicago. Not that you and I will get to see much of it. I'm sure we'll be uh, working at the event most of the time. Mm-hmm. But there's going to be a, there's a long list of uh, speakers there. Uh, Kathy Reisenwitz, who's gotten all kinds of press recently in the, the libertarian circles. Oh, is this another one of those Bitcoin conferences where there's a lot of liberty people at it? There are a lot of liberty people at awesome. it. Awesome. Who yeah. else? Um, well, Jeff Burr, the Dollar Vigilante, will be there. Um, Jeff Berwick, yeah. Yep. Uh, Roger Veer, uh, oh, who is great. Uh, Bitcoin Jesus, as he's known, uh, will be there. There's uh, Flip, I'm going to do this wrong, Filipowski of uh, Peace Action Network will be there. I'm excited oh, uh, cool. about that. Peter Smith of Blockchain.info, Trace Meyer of the, the Armory Wallet, uh, of course, it Charlie sounds like Lee. the Bitcoin event of the summer to me. It is, and there hasn't been anything really a Bitcoin event anywhere near Chicago, nowhere mm-hmm. in the Midwest. Can okay. you think of one? I can't say I would pay real close Toronto attention. Toronto is the closest thing, and that's not yeah. particularly close. Okay. So um, I think that this is going to draw people all around that haven't sure. had a chance to go to an event like this. Very cool. You know, all you have to do is uh, get in the car and go for a few hours to to get there. Lots of people live within driving distance of Chicago, so I'm excited. You can go get your tickets at btcchicago.com. Pay in Bitcoin if you wish. You're welcome to btcchicago.com, and we're going to be there broadcasting live uh, two nights, and I'm really excited. It's going to be awesome. a lot of fun. It's always a lot of fun to go to these things. I was actually wearing my Bitcoin Not Bombs t-shirt today with the big letter B on it, the big Bitcoin icon, which is kind of made up of words. People thought, probably thought you were a Bruins fan. Yeah, I guess it does kind of have a similar look to it. Um, so I was wearing that shirt and my uh, my Satoshi Forest bandana that I got from Michelle Seven at the last Bitcoin conference. I think we you're hilarious with that. So thing I was head. all Bitcoined out this morning and also toting a peace flag, which uh, apparently upset some people when I got behind the Memorial Day parade and proceeded to follow said parade and uh, wave the flag. It actually went better than last year, because last year I was threatened by an officer of the Keene Police Department with some sort of nonsense about disorderly conduct. Uh, If I were to continue staying in the road, I continued staying in the road anyway, and uh, and he backed down. Yeah, what kind of disorderly Um, conduct could you possibly, you know, you're not obstructing cars or anything. Well, that is one of the classic definitions of disorderly conduct is when you're obstructing traffic in a a roadway. Yeah, but you're directly behind a parade (laughs) where people are, I mean, where the, the road's closed. It, it was. Yeah. Um, so anyway, today I didn't only, have that problem. The only way you could possibly be obstructing traffic is that moment when the last official parade individual crosses the plane of the end of the, uh, of the parade, mm-hmm. and then they suddenly pull all the blockades up. And in, then they get you. In that and two they, seconds. They swoop in there and grab <laughs> you. Until you can uh, clop your little besandled butt across the line, that, that plane. Uh, it's ridic- It's a ridiculous claim. Yeah, well, in this case, I actually started uh, when I got into the parade behind the last police cruiser, which was p- supposed to be the end of the parade. But then, like, some baseball team came up behind me. So I ended up not being the last person in uh, Oh, so in a baseball parade. team just jumped in, too, huh? So it looked that way. Yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, it was good because, uh, you know, I didn't have to face the threat of arrest today. That was nice. And uh, also got positive responses. You know, people waves, peace signs uh, from the side of the road, which is nice because, you you know, the presumption you might make is, oh, this is Memorial Day Parade. There's going to be a lot of warmongers here. And I'm sure there are plenty of warmongers at the Memorial Day Parade. Just most of them uh, will ignore you, I think, rather than than be nasty in public. And so, you you know, you get some positive responses from people. Every now and then you'll hear a nasty comment from somebody. But really, I only heard two of them, and it actually neither of them were when I was in the parade. They were prior to that when I was actually chalking smiley faces and hearts uh, on Central Square and peace signs, the local downtown park. I was there doing that prior to the parade starting. One woman walked by, and I recognized her from the Stop Free Keen group on Facebook. She said something like, seriously <laughs> as she walked by and that was the only thing i heard out of her and then there was some other lady i caught uh, i overheard talking to a friend of hers saying something about this is what they do blah 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 talking about how we're chalking because recently in key and as you guys may have covered on black sheep rising mm-hmm. uh there has been this chalk controversy going on uh, sort of a conflict over chalk now i don't i'm not interested in getting in a conflict with anyone i just want to just chalk. chalk. Some, I just well, want to chalk. Hold on just a and second. How much chalking have you done p- 
prior to a month ago. So not within the last 30 days, but prior to the 30 some. days. I've done some. In we've any, been a, chunking a year in earnest that. recently. I mean, we've right. been. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm, I want to know for the 365 days. Prior to, I've done more talk, chalking in the last two weeks than I have in the last. So it's year. not that you want to chalk; it's that you want a conflict. No, I want yes, to chalk. Oh, yes, now. you do. You're a rebel. Shut up, your lying mouth. You want to fight with that people. That is not a lie. It, it is, is not a, a lie. fight, it is sir. Proved by the fact. I didn't it claim it was. It is not a was. fight to chalk uh, hearts and peace signs and smiley faces. Why don't you come out and tell the truth instead of lying to there yourself no and other lie people? Here. This is not a conflict. You haven't done any chalking. Three, That's uh, not for, true. I have year, done chalking. I, I asked you a question, and you didn't even attempt to answer it. For one year prior to the last 30 days. So I've definitely done chalking in the last year. In the, prior to the last 30 prior days. Prior to the Absolutely. last I've seen him do chalking. How many days of, of that have you done? I couldn't tell you. Not much compared to. There's been a real uh, push for chalking recently here, and it's not a conflict. It's just yes, it is you know, a we're conflict. We're out there beautifying the park. It's a nice, it's nice weather out, and that's it's what a the perfect story. Time. That, that's a it's narrative. It's a perfect time for chalking. Then the, hold on. Why don't you chalk as much as you chalked before? Why don't I chalk as much as I chalked before? Because right. why don't you chalk the same amount, same just as often as you chalked before? It's more important to chalk now why because is it more there are important? people out there destroying smiley faces, and ah, we need to create there more. There are people that that now you can get into arguments with about no, chalk. I'm not arguing you with can, anybody. Listen, yes, you, you can are. you can make the same argument for the stop free keeners. Why? Oh yeah, the stop free keeners. When, when, when you consider the skate park and the the the, the disaster that it is, mm-hmm. why haven't they stepped forward? In past years, and gone and cleaned up Clean that up that park. mess. <laughs> Stop so. Freaking is a group that is, in its very title, a conflict. Mm-hmm. They yeah. will not say that they are not in conflict with the free keeners oh, yeah. whereas ian will tell fibs like it's i'm all fib. about peace i don't want a conflict with nobody but turns out when i find somebody doesn't like chalk i get my butt out and i chalk 10 times as much as i've chalked <laughs> in the last year you're a liar stop uh, no. telling lies to yourself first Not start start Telling yourself the truth, then start telling it to the rest of us. Um, sorry, Mark, but chalking hearts and uh, smiley faces and peace chalking. symbols is not conflict-oriented. Mm. It's not angry. It's not based in anger. It's mm. based in love. It's based in you know bringing the community together, uh, allowing other people to chalk as if well. You'd been Are chalking... the little kids out there chalking uh, conflict? No, no of course they're not. not doing it because of the conflict. They're chalking as often as they have chalked before. You, on the other hand, sir, have picked up your chalking mm-hmm. efforts yeah. in the last 30 days because you have found people who do not want you to chalk. You are an anti-disestablishmentarianism, you, you, antarianist. You don't care about freedom. You care about conflict. I think Ian is a human being, and he is going to rebel against authority just like every other person is going to, just like no. Stop Free Keen does. Some people love authority. The toll-free <laughs> number here is 855-450-FREE. Just because you have conflict in your heart, Mark, doesn't mean you need to project it onto me. Nonsense. There's more coming up here in moments. It seems more about you than it does about me. It's Free Talk Live. You can take control. Gentlemen. In search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com Memorial Day is a time of remembrance of our fallen soldiers who died for our freedom. In honor of these brave men and women, AmericanSurvivalWholesale.com is offering huge discounts on several great products. AmericanSurvivalWholesale.com is veteran-owned and operated, so stop what you're doing and support a like-minded company and save a few bucks at the same time. The Memorial Day sale starts right now and ends on May 26th at midnight. Honor above all, AmericanSurvivalWholesale.com. That's AmericanSurvivalWholesale.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. 
From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the Liberty Media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. The Shire Free Church offers a sanctuary to those seeking an escape from state churches. The Shire Free Church is an interfaith, diverse group of people that may not share identical theological beliefs. As a member in or minister of the Shire Free Church, you are a sovereign individual and may be the faith of your choice. We don't claim to have all of the answers. We are open to all peaceful people. We want to learn from each other. What unifies the Shire Free Church and its diverse members is peace, love, and liberty. There are many paths to God, one for every individual. The Shire Free Church does not define a specific path beyond those parameters that must be your foundation. Peace as your way, love as your guide, and liberty as your light. Learn more at church.shiresociety.com. That's church.shiresociety.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. Bring up whatever you want. Dial toll-free 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. People are upset today because I walked in the parade, the Memorial Day parade, with a police, uh, police, with a peace flag. There were police in the parade and nearby the parade, but some people were upset about that, and Mark is accusing me of uh, being interested in conflict. And you could make the same claim, Mark, I guess, about you know me getting into the parade. Oh, well, Ian, you, you know that people aren't going to like it when you get into the parade with a peace flag, so therefore you must be all about conflict. But I'll tell you one thing that you need to know about is the Free State Project. We'll get it back into more of this because it's the reason why we're here. It's the reason why... Uh, there is even a, a real peace movement happening in New Hampshire is because of the Free State Project. The liberty activists coming here from all around the country, all around the world even, and getting active to achieve more liberty in our lifetime. Conan moved up from Florida, originally Tennessee, and Mark and I also happen to be from Florida, but we didn't know one another uh, prior to this. And I think it's great because it's bringing the doers together. The Free State Project is bringing people who care about freedom all to the same geographic area so we can concentrate our activism and our efforts uh, Conan, we were talking earlier about your old show, Shire TV. Your new show is is uh, Black Sheep Rising. These are programs that wouldn't be possible where I'm from. There would be no way I could round up enough volunteers to put together a, a regularly produced television program uh, in Sarasota, Florida, where I'm from. I don't know about where you were living in Florida, but I imagine it was the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it, and and not just uh, for for outreach, not just for reaching the folks. But just for hanging out, you know, just, you know, I mean, I have more friends here in Keene than I've had in, you know, since high school. And of course, you know, of course we were surrounded by, you know, kids, but yeah, as, as an adult, this is, this is where it's at. And people who I get along with, people who I identify with, people who I agree with. And that really says a whole lot. And because I know the older you get, man, 
the the friends just start dropping off the mat. They get married and they move to other places. They sure. get jobs that take them other places. Friends but, are by convenience. I mean, a friend is yeah, you can uh, you can have some old friends who you still stay connected with and all, but everybody usually kind of f- moves away from one another at some point. Their path, their journey in life takes them somewhere else. And if you aren't spending time with the person, then you're not really that much of a friend anymore. You're an mm-hmm. old friend. You can be an old friend, but you're not a current friend. And uh, that is just what happens. And you're right. There are plenty of people to get to know here in New Hampshire who've moved here for the Free State Project or are New Hampshire natives who love the ideas of liberty as well. And it is an amazing community. And you pointed out you have more friends here in the Keene area. Well, there are hundreds more potential friends all over the rest of the state. So even if you were to pick up and and make a move, as Allie, our Monday night, uh, former Monday night co-host, has done uh, just recently, there are friends waiting for you that you don't know yet in other areas of New Hampshire. So it's uh, it's something that's... It's unprecedented. It's exciting to be a part of it. And you can come experience a taste of what that's like here in New Hampshire by coming to the Porcupine Freedom Festival at porkfest.com, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T.com. Tickets are still available for the next several days through the end of this month. You can still get tickets online. After May, you're going to have to get your tickets in person at the event, which means you'll be paying the maximum price. So if you want to save a few bucks, Go now to porkfest.com, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T.com. Get registered. It's June 22nd through the 29th. We are less than four weeks away at this point. It's going to come up, and it's going to come up fast, and it's going to be a lot of fun. All kinds of liberty-oriented people, singles, couples, families, kids, dogs. There's just all kinds of people and folks at this event. It's a lot of fun. Everything from dance parties to family events to church meetings. I mean, literally, there's this entire spectrum of activities that happen. Happens. And there's also a DIY, do-it-yourself theme this year, where you'll get to learn how to do all kinds of interesting things if you attend some of the classes at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. But you don't have to. You can just hang out at campsites and walk around the campground and go to campfires, and it's just an absolute blast. So go and check it out at porkbest.com. You're recording uh, Black Sheep Rising there, too, right? Come we in. Absolutely. And there's going to be a bunch of LRN uh you know, uh, regulars who will be at the Pork Fest, who usually are. When's your show recording? Is it, was it Saturday? It's going to be Saturday, probably about two-ish. So right, at, right after the picture. So Free Talk Live broadcasting live every single night. Black Sheep Rising going to be produced on Saturday live in a you know oh, studio yeah. audience, which is a lot of fun. And uh, did you do that there last year? You didn't, right? We did, but we it did. was on the first Sunday, so people so were still driving in. Not a lot and of people it, there. Yeah, so it was but, no, it was still a big crowd, but really? uh, that's cool. uh, yeah, it's not what it could have been. It'll be bigger on Saturday, oh, yeah. that's for sure. So it runs Sunday through Sunday. It's uh, June twenty second through the 29th. We look forward to seeing you there. Robert is in Vermont. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Robert. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome, sir. Go ahead. Hey, I got a chance to hear the you know, the audio from uh, what was it uh, the one that WKBG did on Saturday. Uh, this was the, the local talk radio station that airs a show on Saturday mornings, into which Conan and I are somewhat regular uh, callers. They had a couple of the members, two actually three of the members of the the opposition group here in town, stop free keen on the show. So you wanted to share some thoughts? Yeah, I, I uh, they did that, and then it was posted on uh, on Facebook along with the video that showed you know you guys out there you know talking up the center of the common, and these people come out with their brushes and water and wash it off all the chalk and everything. But you know. Uh, an interesting thing that came out of that and listening to that was that somebody called in and suggested that maybe, you know, we have, uh, you know, some of the members from South Free Keen come in and some of the members from Free Keen go into the station and, you know, try to work out this, you know, this conflict, I guess you want to call it. Well, I agreed but- with the, the hosts in that case. I forget who it was that made that, that proposal, but... It was you, Conan? Mm-hmm. I, I agreed with the host in that case. It's a small studio, and even if it weren't a small studio, it could could still be a difficult kind of refereeing circus event, uh, bringing in two sides of, of a situation where there's an obvious uh, there's an obvious dislike from yeah. from one side. I, to, I to actually the other. said it in for fun. Oh, okay, you weren't serious about it. I w- but I was serious about uh, the, uh, the 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 bloggers from Free Keen going in. Uh, to rebut, you know, what was said about yeah, us. Yeah, because we had called in after these Stop Free Keen folks were on, but it would be nice to, I mean, they had them in the studio. It would be nice mm-hmm. if you, for instance, Conan, 
maybe uh, James Cleveland, aka Robin Hood, would be able to go in with you and field some questions and and the and field inevitable phone calls too, because right. uh, inevitably people are going to call in as they did in droves on this show. Robert, the video you're talking about is available at freekeen.com. Conan posted it, I think, earlier today or yesterday. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's right there on the front page of the site right now. Any other thoughts you want to share? Yeah, I, I was going to su- make a suggestion if I could. Sure. Uh, and I agree that it probably wouldn't make for a great atmosphere if a group of one came in and a group of another came in. It would just, it, it probably wouldn't work. But what my suggestion is, is that, you know, how about if Star Free Keen, how about if they, uh, uh, you know, nominate somebody to go in to represent them, and then maybe somebody from Free Keen to be nominated? And I mean, instead of having a group have one on one. I think it'd be fascinating, personally, if, if we could actually sit down with anyone uh, from that group. I actually saw one of them online, or there was one online commenting to me on something today, this evening, actually, and I invited her to, you know, I invited her to private message me so we could set up a real life meeting. She passed on that. I right, then they don't seem to her have to any in. interest in uh, conversations so mm-hmm. often. I invited her to call in because she'd actually asked me to explain, you know, the Shire Free Church and, you know, she claims it's tax evasion, et cetera. And I said I was more than happy to meet with her. And she said, well, no, I think that uh, everyone on this profile should know what you have to say. And I said, well, well, okay, well, why don't you call my radio show? We can talk in greater detail where thousands of people would be able to listen and benefit from the conversation. She passed on that. My, my, my point is that allow, allow them to nominate somebody that may want to go in and then maybe somebody from Free Keen, because I've got somebody in mind, you know, that uh, I'd like to share with you that could benefit you know, uh, uh, free king. Robert, uh, you're welcome to post that online. I appreciate the call tonight. Thank you for making it. Uh, again, it could be difficult for a host to referee something like that in a in a studio. It would be really, I think. I, I think I them. think it would be great. I think it would be, it would be interesting. But at, like, just like you said, I don't think they would agree to it. No, not not, so not the not the hosts of Sound Off, but the actual the, opposition. The they they love their their silent protests where they don't have to say anything to stand there with their signs and because because i don't think they fleshed out the arguments i think they did i think they did a pretty good job uh in that in that one hour they were on the show but mostly all they said is we are annoyed they just seem to be annoyed we're going to come back with more here this is free talk live you take control of the airwaves i have your attention please if you are trying to lose weight we need your help We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. You've been lied to. Lied to by corrupt Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, and I want to give you a free copy of my Inc. Magazine best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire, because Wall Street's 401k and other investment plans have failed millions of Americans. After losing 35% in my IRA in the crash several years ago, I said enough. Since then, I've discovered an IRS-approved way to safely grow my money up to 12 to even 17%, cut taxes dramatically, but also have my money protected when the next crash comes. Call now to talk with a specialist to discover this little-known strategy to potentially build a million-dollar tax-free retirement income, get potential 12 to 17% returns, and never lose when the next crash hits. Call 888-885-8820 and discover this tool that people like Walt Disney and J.C. Penney used to safely grow rich. Plus, get one of just 97 free books left. We even cover shipping and handling. Call 888-885-8820. 888-885-8820. Again, that's 888-885-8820. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. 
Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and of course, you can bring up whatever you'd like. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We've got Skype. You may Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. Just send a contact request first. It will be approved, and then after it is approved, it'll be easy for you to call us on Skype. And in the studio tonight, it's Ian here. And Conan. And Mark. Don't forget, you can join us online over at freetalklive.com. And Free Talk Live brought to you by ProXPN. And those toll-free lines are also brought to you by ProXPN. They are a global virtual private network. They're all about communications, but about encrypting your communications, protecting your communications online. Because right now, without ProXPN, if you're not using ProXPN, your internet service provider is probably logging every website you visit, every search term you enter, and keeping those logs for up to five years in some cases. So you can stop that from happening by going right now to ProXPN.com or when you get in front of your computer or smartphone because it's uh, there's Windows software, there's Macintosh, there's iOS, there's Android. And even Linux users, there's a way to get it set up to work for you as well. ProXPN.com slash FTL. You go and get started for free. There's a free account. You can just jump right in and test it out. But the free account is missing a few critical features that you'll get with their premium account. You get, with the premium account, unlimited bandwidth. You get multiple servers around the world to which you can connect. You can also, with their premium, uh, premium account, do private torrenting, which is... A really big feature, especially if you are into torrents, that's a tough one to find out there. Private torrenting, at least a tough one to find at a $5 a month price point, like you can get over at proxpn.com slash FTL. The 5 bucks a month, you get that price by using our discount code FTL20. That saves you 20% off for the lifetime of your account. And you can sign up using that code for a monthly plan or a yearly plan as well. And I think there may be a half-year plan. But either way, you sign up for the annual plan, and that's how you break the price down to $5 per month. It's a heck of a deal for great privacy protections. ProXPN, by the way, does not keep records of your online surfing habits. And you get a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. ProXPN.com slash FTL. Promo code FTL20. So I said earlier tonight we actually just got distracted by a variety of different topics and conversations. I said I would share some more of the posts uh, that I received on Facebook in response to me going into the uh, the peace um, going with a peace flag into the Memorial Day parade today. At the very end of the parade, I kind of brought up the end with uh, with my peace flag, and I got some positive reactions from some folks in the in the crowd. Most people didn't react at all, but uh, so I'd imagine in the in and among the people who did not react are people who would think the way that the people on Facebook actually posted, because it's a lot easier to post your real feelings behind the safety of a computer. Mm-hmm. So here are some of the comments that uh, that I received. This one from Wes Majeka. 
He says, completely tasteless to insert any of your idealist demonstrations into Memorial Day. Now, this is uh, my former, one of my former, this is my former boss. He fired you at one time. This guy, well, right? yes. I mean, he had to, but yes. He always seemed like a nice guy to me, but apparently he really loves the military. Um, he goes on to say, it's a day to remember those who died, not a day to push any agenda. You know, I... I... I wonder. Um, so I get where 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 he might be coming from. That everybody has their own sort of internal things going on on Memorial Day, but everybody has their own internal things going on in moral uh, Memorial Day. Their the agenda of remembering people oftentimes is wrapped up in the agenda of um, uh, you know glorifying, aggrandizing the state. The this Memorial Day parade, when I saw it two years ago, I didn't see this one today. I mm -hmm. planted fruit trees and uh, went and bought a comic book with my son. I think you were there last year. I think it was the year before. Okay. Anyway, uh, it, it had a bunch of big military weapons. Yes. They weren't pulling hearses or caskets of dead military members. To the, clarify, they didn't have, they weren't driving weapons. They were more like armored personnel carriers or something like oh, that. Right. Well, but they definitely have military vehicles being driven by uh, men in fatigues. So it looks like, um, you know, a, it, it kind of looks like a recruitment thing, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. it kind of looks like a, you know, a glorification of the military thing. Sure does. You can stay at home and remember the war dead there or... I get it when the vet, the older vets go through, you know, these guys with their stuff on. Of course, they're not yep. dead either. But um, you can see the, uh, you know, World War II is this one that's often held up as the the, the good war. And I, I don't know. I mean, it's I find it very. Uh, it, this is well, they're difficult. pushing an agenda, aren't they? I mean, isn't that to some extent an agenda? The agenda of promoting the the war state. Right. The agenda of creating these sort of warm feelings in people's hearts about the soldiers and, you know, what the soldiers do, which is killing people around the world at the behest of politicians. But if you create this this warmth around it, oh, apple pie, flags, mm -hmm. oh, our heroes, they're our boys. And, of course, you know, these are there's local people who have local loved ones who are in the military, and they don't want to think negatively of their loved ones. But there's an agenda being uh, that's going on here. If this day was really set up uh, to focus on the dead, then we should all be going down to the funeral, the right down, down to the graveyard, and we should be putting flowers on tombstones. We shouldn't mm. be glorifying these guys. So it's become a uh, 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 go military day. Yeah, it's very martial. Yeah. So let, let me ask you this, um, Conan. You are you're a vet, and vets have called in to this show. I tend not to take. A, I tried. I, I've come to a stand, but I didn't try to have this stand. Now I love Wes. He's a, a friend of mine. But people have called in and said things like, um, you know. Those in the military are nothing but paid killers working for liars and thieves. Mercenaries. Yeah. Vets have said this. What do you think about that? They're statement? mercenaries. I mean, how many uh, – I didn't know very many patriots – uh, when I was in the military, they went. They were in the military because it was. It was. We were paid well, and yes, we were paid well. Uh, the the guys living in the barracks who their money was being distributed in the food and the barracks and all that. They weren't paid as much as me. The guy, the uh, the guy with the, the the wife and child. I saw all the money that I was making. I was making good money. Paid for your school. Your medical is paid for. Uh, there's all kinds of uh, benefits that you can cash in on. I mean, it's. I mean, so you weren't doing it to fight for freedom. Is what you're saying. I was doing it for the money. Yeah, and uh, but I mean, I did. I do have a lot of family in the military, and so that. And I, so there was a patriotic, uh, uh, you know, it was being shoved down my throat, you know, my entire life. Uh, and there, and uh, and a lot of the military who I was, you know, working with, uh, you know, they would, they would, they would focus on that at times. But when you when you broke it all down, it was for the money. Yeah, I mean, I think that the, the militia, you might be able to claim that the, you know, the militia as it existed, you know, 100 years ago or more, uh, might have been more patriotic because people were doing it and not getting paid for it. It's not that I don't think a person it deserves to be paid for, for work done. I, I guess my problem is is that the, the the professional military has been employed my whole life in manners that are dubious. It's not that I want to see dead soldiers. I do not. I am not saying, yay, other team. Mm -hmm. I am saying, look, 
every single time they employ these people in a war, they, I mean, it's dubious. We should take a look. Every, I mean, it, it, we appear to be being lied to. There were no weapons of mass destruction. There were no, there, there was no yellow cake. This was uh, information gotten through torture by the Egyptian government. Mm. There was the Gulf of Tonkin was a, a you know an obvious false, false flag operation that got us into war, got the U.S. into uh, the Vietnam War. Uh, you know, I mean. Now we're friends with China, whereas we were fighting them in Korea. When you say we, you're talking about the U.S. federal government? I'm friends with China. (laughs) <laughs> you know, you're friends with the Chinese I love government? Chi- I love China, uh, people from China. Okay, there you um, go. But, you know, yeah, the United States government's all pally-wally with, uh, with China now, but they were fighting them in Korea war, Korean War. What is the point of all of this? Now, I will say this. As far as, far as a military man goes, the ones who excel are the ones who are able to follow orders. The mm. guys who don't want to follow orders or they have a conscience or they, you know, they have other ideas, held back. Those, no are guys who, those are the guys who get out after their, their time and service is up. They leave. They, yeah, the other do dudes, something they, productive. They, they stick around. You probably want to do something that you've always dreamed of doing, and I doubt that was being in the military for your whole Mm-mm. life. And so much of this seems like um, you, you'll see the older guys with the hats on from, you know, whatever oh, yeah. unit they were in. And what, what I... Th- they were there. Uh, you know, yeah, they, they, these men deserve thanks for their service, but it's not the thanks for the service in the military. It's the thanks for what they did when they got out. Mm. The people they helped. Starting businesses. Yeah, the, all whatever. the things that they've done to be productive. I want a world where people are thanked for productivity, not for d- participating in for, destruction. For blowing up bridges. And I'm not saying that there's not a time and a place for um, you know, blowing up a bridge, I'm just saying. Look, I don't think it happens too often. That where, where's this just war? Let's talk about the just wars. So it's tough. Toll free number eight fifty five four fifty free. So I went on to uh, say to Wes in his comment, I said, "Well, people dying in wars of aggression." Don't make free speech possible. Sorry, Wes, because he trotted out that old, ah, you wouldn't be able to say what you're saying if it weren't for the military fighting in wars around the world. I mean, it's like every year. It's the same points, right? It's just different people. Well, sure, they uh, will bring up the same points. I'm sure I've said it too. We'll come back uh, here in moments. He's got a few more comments, and we'll share. Well, you can share your thoughts with us here. The toll free number is 855 450 free. Memorial Day. Did you do anything, you know, interesting? If you had a picnic, we don't need to hear about that. But did you go out? Did you get active today? What did you do? 855-450-FREE. You can take control here. Hour number three is on the way on Free Talk Live. What if humans found a habitable planet, set up housekeeping, and then got left alone by Earth and its big government? Well, that happened in Freehold, Michael Z. Williamson's seminal work. Now available for the first time in a signed, limited hardback edition. Other books in this series are also available in paperback. I cannot recommend a modern fiction work more highly than Freehold. Earth might have left Freehold alone, but it doesn't stay that way. It's war. Get your copy right now at all major booksellers and shop.freetalklive.com. This Tuesday, it's the premiere of NBC's new medical drama, The Night Shift. TCU's an army ranger, battlefield doc. He's a hero driven to save everyone but himself. I keep having these dreams. I keep reliving that moment. Let me help you. But how can she heal the man who broke her heart? I can't stop thinking about you. The Night Shift premieres Tuesday at 10, 9 central after the premiere of America's Got Talent on NBC. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nesquik. Try Nesquik 4-Packs, perfect for lunches and great for kids on the go. Look for it in the juice aisle. Snack time is a great chance to sneak extra calcium into your child's diet without making him feel like he's eating something he doesn't want. Serve up dairy-rich foods like smoothies, flavored milk, frozen yogurt, and string cheese. He'll love the treat, and you'll love knowing how good it is for him. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. 
You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Friday, May 23rd, 2014. Radio VR News. President Obama is expected to announce a cabinet shuffle today. He plans to select an Hispanic leader whose political star is on the rise, plus he gets political experience beyond local politics. Jackie Quinn has a preview. The White House says President Obama will tap San Antonio Mayor Julian Castro to become the next housing secretary. The slot will open up as the president taps current HUD Secretary Sean Donovan to run his budget office. The 39-year-old Castro, a three-term mayor, has been mentioned as a possible vice presidential candidate for 2016. If confirmed, he and Labor Secretary Thomas Perez would be the highest-ranking Hispanic officials in the administration. Jackie Quinn, Washington. The list of contenders to host the next GOP presidential convention has been narrowed, but there's some concern in the party about the location. Las Vegas. Correspondent Mike Gracia tells us why. Las Vegas and Cincinnati are out of the running to host the Republican Party's 2016 presidential nominating convention. Las Vegas organizers dropped their bid, saying they faced scheduling and convention space problems. Cincinnati organizers had arena issues. That leaves Dallas, Denver, Cleveland, and Kansas City, Missouri still in the running. Republican National Committee officials approved the four remaining contenders Thursday, and they're expected to narrow the field by this summer. Mike Gracia, Washington. The Veterans Administration scandal continues to grow with even more calls for the head of the VA to step aside and let someone else take over the embattled department. Jerry Bolander has the details. The number three House Republican, Congressman Kevin McCarthy, says Secretary Eric Shinseki should step aside, calling the VA crisis a national embarrassment. Shinseki told reporters here at the Capitol he plans to stay on the job, even as Speaker John Boehner says, he's moving closer to calling for Shinseki to step down. This is awful stuff, and somebody ought to be held accountable for it. Meanwhile, there's a move in the Senate to give the VA secretary greater authority to remove officials who don't do their jobs. It's already been approved by the House. Jerry Bodlander, Capitol Hill. An older method of execution is being discussed in Tennessee as a replacement for the supply of lethal injection drugs, which remains unknown to the public. Eric Shelzig explains. The legislature has passed laws to make the supply or the ingredients even of lethal injection secret, and no death penalty has reached a crucial point to which we know whether the state has it or not. That's one of the areas that the critics of the law have raised in that how would the state prove that they really couldn't get their hands on these drugs. O.J. Simpson, the disgraced former football star who was acquitted of killing his wife almost 20 years ago, is trying to get out of a Nevada prison by going to the Nevada Supreme Court with a supersized appeal of his 2007 armed robbery conviction. Ken Ritter has the details. The court hasn't accepted it because it's a little bit too long. The lawyers had a 14,000 word limit and submitted just under 20,000 words. Simpson attorney Patricia Palm tells us that it ran long because she and lawyers Ozzy Fumo and Tom Pataro needed space to respond in detail to the judge's denial ruling last November. And Boko Haram, the Nigerian terrorist group responsible for kidnapping 300 Nigerian schoolgirls last month, is now facing sanctions from the United Nations. Warren Levinson has more. The United States says the U.N. Security Council has added Boko Haram to its list of al-Qaeda-linked organizations. That subjects the terror group, which has kidnapped 276 schoolgirls in Nigeria, to a range of U.N. sanctions. Boko Haram, whose name means Western education is sinful, has targeted mosques, churches, and government buildings. Its five-year campaign against the Nigerian government has claimed thousands of lives, including 1,500 this year. 62 groups and 213 individuals on the list are subject to travel bans, assets, freezes and an arms embargo. Warren Levinson, New York. And the man who once led America's armed forces as defense secretary is now the new president of the Boy Scouts of America. Tim McGuire reports on Bob Gates' new job. Robert Gates headed the Pentagon for both President George W. Bush and President Obama. As president of the Boy Scouts of America, he takes over an organization that has seen a decline in membership. 
Last year, the National Council voted to allow openly gay boys to belong while continuing to exclude openly gay adult leaders. Some conservative groups have left scouting, but the expulsion of a gay Seattle area scoutmaster has gay rights groups urging other the nation's quadriplegics immobilized on Washington in support of stem cell research. And a Penn State t-shirt is awkwardly looked away from. And now for the weekly feature your fragile, susceptible mind already has your lips salivating for. This is The Onion Week in Review. Sources reported today that 10-year-old Brandon Thomas, who is currently homesick at his friend Kevin's sleepover, needs to just tough it the f*** out. I don't feel like playing Xbox right now. The pathetic little bitch who claims he just doesn't feel like eating any birthday cake or joining in any activities with his friends, frankly needs to grow a pair because his parents only live 10 minutes away, for Christ's sake. Here's what the whiny pansy had to say for himself. I wasn't crying. It's just allergies. I want to go home. What a f***ing wuss. In other news, a voicemail from mom is deleted three words in, and a man with nice eyes is blown. All right, now off with you. I can't have you seeing me like this. For more, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is the Onion News Network. It's Free Talk Live. What does freedom mean? Mark will be exploring that with a piece from Mises, the Mises Institute, here in a little bit as we launch into the third hour of the program. Uh, we got Conan here with us from BlackSheepRising.org, hey, hey. which you can go and listen and or watch to Black Sheep Rising on, you know, it's a, it's a good show to watch, but it's also pretty listenable. Like, you guys don't do a bunch of on-screen stuff or anything like this. It's just you guys sitting around. Uh, we, do, we do do uh, uh, video uh, we'll watch, watch, and uh, talk about. Uh, but we're we're really easy trying to. We we spend a lot of time making it making a good podcast. Yeah, but it, it, it works both ways. I mean, it's just you know whatever you whatever you feel like. It is. It used to be a two hour program. What is it now? It's a one hour. Okay, but, but we'll have like an after show. After shows. Okay. So uh, so it's so we break it up like that. The two hour was a little hard to watch. You know, it's hard to watch anything longer than five minutes. You've even got the city manager watching your show, apparently. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, uh, even movers and shakers here in town, are paying attention to what you're doing, Conan. Keep up the good work over there, uh, blacksheeprising.org. As we continue here, we've been talking about the uh, the Memorial Day activities today and, and what I was doing this morning. Uh, being in the parade, actually. Now, I wasn't scheduled to be in the parade, but every year, uh, myself and other activists in past years have uh, jumped into the parade with signs and peace flags and bringing the ideas of peace to the Memorial Day parade. Some when people you, are upset about that. If you're going to employ myself in a sentence, it's the second time you refer to yourself in a sentence. So, um, you know, I was in the Memorial Parade, not myself. Was ah, in, so, okay. it, you know, I cut myself. You see oh, how you yeah. refer to yourself two times in a sentence? Yeah, because so, you can't say I cut I or I I cut me. me That's yeah, wrong. Th- those don't those don't work. So right. myself is the second reference to yourself in a sentence. Right. Thanks for that. I appreciate that. Sure. You know what? You learn something new every night here on Free Talk Live. So I uh, got into the parade, and the response was mostly positive, at least from the people that gave me a response in the parade. But it's after the fact when I posted about it on Facebook. When people started getting nasty from all across the country, and uh, this, the guy who's commenting here, Wes Majika, he is actually somebody we used to work with down in Florida. He now, I think, is the general manager of a radio station in Montana. I don't think he's in the radio business anymore. Oh, okay. Well, as of the last few years, a few years ago, he was GMing a, a station in Montana. Yeah, he was in Beaumont, and he was in uh, uh, Memphis too. We move around in the radio industry. But anyway, town to town and up and down the dial. He's upset, and uh, after summoning uh, somebody, he tags somebody in the thread and he says hey danny what would you say to peace loving people who disrespect the ultimate sacrifice of those who made it possible for them to demonstrate at a memorial day parade and he goes on to say you couldn't be more wrong ian freeman promote your cause a different day if not for those who died you wouldn't be able to to be a prick today and yes demonstrating on a day we remember is being a prick you're no better than fred phelps in the westboro church and yes they do if not for soldiers dying we'd live in a country where our speech would get you killed and you're naive to think otherwise go smoke another joint so um the, i'm comparing you to fred phelps where fred phelps i believe and his family celebrate the deaths of uh, soldiers i think is taking that an, an entire step beyond what you did but here's the question i i have is well, he's saying i'm as offensive with what i'm doing for the for the peace lovers out there 
what are they supposed to do? Most of the parades in the United States are government parades. They're right, the cops the were government. there shutting down the streets. Right, they shut down the, st- the streets. Where do you get this peace parade? Mm-hmm. Where is this peace celebration you're supposed to be doing your, your stuff on? Now, there is a peace vigil every week out on Central Square. I think they're going to be wrapping it, da- wrapping <gasps> it up. What? Well, because they Af- they're drawing the t- troops out of Afghanistan. Oh. So I think that they, the vigil may be shutting down. I don't I know. I can't believe it. Yeah, but there are other conflicts yeah. taking place. I mean, been they doing, just, you better keep it going. They've they been just, doing they that. can just go pick another country. Well, well they, Hold on. They've been doing that vigil since the 80s, which is long before the Afghanistan thing, I believe so. that there, it was laid down for a period of time in the 90s, hmm. as okay. I understand. They, they can pick up the war between Free Keen and the Stop Free Keen. That's a good <laughs> – right here in their own town. But I don't know where what you do. I mean, I don't – if you well, right, want to get has... the message of peace out to people, and there's nobody who wants it more now than those in the military – I think it's yeah. How do you get your own parade? How does that work? What exactly? mostly you hear are civilians who have never been members of the military complaining about how people in the military are treated on this day. People in the military often are the ones that want peace the most. Sure. Oftentimes you'll find those in the military are ones that weren't in uh, the battle MOSs, you know, the the conflict MOSs, or the the biggest supporters of the, yeah, yeah, we did it. I flew a desk for four years. I suspect a lot of these people are individuals who, they know someone in the military, even if they haven't been in the military you know, they know they've had loved ones, maybe dead grandfathers, that kind of thing, who were in the military. And it seems very personal to them when somebody takes a shot at the military, which, of course, isn't necessarily what I was doing with carrying a peace flag. That's just bringing a message of peace. The way I saw this was not oriented towards conflict, as you might have suggested earlier, Mark, but to simply try to give people something else to think about. Because as that parade's going by, you got the old guys from the, you know, the former World War II people or whatever, you know, former Korea. Uh, these guys, they're in the parade. You've got the high school bands that are in the parade. You've got the karate kids, apparently, they're in the parade every year. Uh, and then military men in military vehicles, police officers, government agents of, I think they even had firemen uh, in the parade this year. Yeah, so wh- where, where's your alternative? Where's, you know, where's the other message? That was me. And, yep. uh, you know, bring up the end of the parade. And uh, it's just like there's the the overall meth- message there is something very martial. It's very militaristic, very pro-military. And I think it's important to bring another idea to the table while people are thinking that, that whole parade, they're getting warm feelings about the military and the people who've died and all the reasons they've died and all this propaganda, these propaganda-ish reasons for, you know, going to con- going into these conflicts around the world about it's for freedom. When, of course, it's as General Smedley Butler, who's like one of the most famous Marine generals. One of the most decorated military men in U.S. Of history. Of all time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, he wrote- Two-time winner of the Medal, Honor, Medal of Honor and would have won a third time if it hadn't been for the rules against officers winning at that moment. He wrote, War is a racket. And Conan, were you telling me off the air that you just refreshed on, on one of his yeah, speeches? Yeah, I, I, I reread the entire thing uh, today. I was actually going over uh, the idea of refreshing it as a as an audio piece. Oh, uh, doing like an audio book kind and, of thing. And, okay. and, 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 and with visuals as well. Uh, okay, so, so give me a summary. I mean, what the, what's the executive summary here of Smedley Butler's position on things? Because I had suggested in my thread here on Facebook that he takes my side, that Smedley Butler is not someone who believes the military is out there fighting for freedom. Uh, no, it's it's a racket, and it, his big his big claim to fame is it's the it's the uh, the, the the industry uh, that are making money off of this. Uh, the the munitions makers, uh, the the guys making the boots, yes. boots uh, the, and tanks the, and the, things the, that the go guys, boom. The guys making the mosquito nets, and during during free peaceful times. Yeah, they make they make enough enough money to get by, but uh, when the, when the war hits, man, Big you know money. their their profits skyrocket. I mean, and it's it's, that's what that's motivator. what it's all about. Yeah, it's, and if you're a, if you're a uh, one of these lobbyists, you know, you're just as interested in getting the government uh, in your in your business as you are the 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 wars overseas. Uh, you know, um, the the complaints that Ian might have been in this uh, this parade, I it it's one sided in myopic. Are there veterans out there that want a message of peace portrayed? Yes. Conan? Veterans for peace? Do you think that it was good that Ian was in there in that parade or bad? I let me I I've been here 2 years and I have not yet been in this parade mm-hmm. and I cuz I've always felt really squeamish about it. Mm. Today I changed my mind. This is this has changed my mind. Really? Because what part? because my whole thing was it is it is a it's a memorial for the dead servicemen. 
But you know what? It's not. And, you know, talking tonight, I came to the realization it's a it's a gung ho. Yay. Military day. Yeah. It, and if it was a Memorial Day, people would be going to the cemeteries, putting flowers on graves. And that is that's you don't point. see any Some of people that nonsense. do that. And they do, they'll put the flags at the, the grave sites. And that's fine. I think, you know, OK. But having a parade with with uh, karate kids. No, it's become it's, something it's completely rah, different. Rah, militarism all the way. And so my idea was, let me bring up the end of this parade, be the last thing that people see to give people at least a moment where they could think about peace. And, you know, a lot of people are going to avert their eyes. They're going to roll their eyes. They're going to ignore. They're going to, you know, make nasty comments to their family members about how awful of a person that I am. Uh, but there are some people in that crowd who appreciated the fact that well, I was there. And some military people. Like, this, this, is the, yeah. uh, this is the point I want to drive home here is, is that if you claim that the message of peace is, anti, is, is somehow a slap in the face of people that have been mm-hmm. in the military or people that have died serving um, the government, then let's not forget that some of them had diff- different opinions than you had. Like, for instance, Harry Patch, the last surviving soldier of World War I, says war is er- organized murder and nothing else. We'll come back with more. Share your thoughts here on Free Talk Live. Summer is almost here, which means it's time to get out and play. And at the Guitar Center Memorial Day Sale, you'll find some of our lowest prices of the year on the best gear throughout the store. And with deals like your choice of two guitar stands or wall hooks for 10 bucks, or two pairs of Vader drumsticks for 5 bucks, or three sets of Ernie Ball electric guitar strings for 10 bucks, the only question is, where will you play? Guitar Center's Memorial Day Sale, now through Monday, in-store and online. This Tuesday, it's the premiere of NBC's new medical drama, The Night Shift. TCU's an army ranger, battlefield doc. He's a hero, driven to save everyone but himself. I keep having these dreams. I keep reliving that moment. Let me help you. But how can she heal the man who broke her heart? I can't stop thinking about you. The Night Shift premieres Tuesday at 10, 9 central after the premiere of America's Got Talent on NBC. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leading them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. 
you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too. Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. It's Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want. Just dial toll-free to 855-450-FREE or join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. You can join us online over at freetalklive.com where all the features are free. Dodd-Frank, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, they're killing the mortgage industry. But Mortgage Minute Guy, the Mortgage Minute Guy, Roger Schlesinger, has found some ways around these rules and organizations. Private loan sellers are competing directly against the U.S. government, and, and things actually look pretty good. Stated income loans are back, and they're, they were really less trouble in the, uh, the mortgage crisis anyway. So state your income, truthfully, obviously, and, and you can get a loan. Rates are great. It's never been easier to get a loan. If you need to refinance or to get cash out for whatever reason, call the Mortgage Minute Guy. 1-866-288-0088 or go to mortgageminuteguy.com 1-866-288-0088 mortgageminuteguy.com All right, we've been discussing the Memorial Day activities today. I was in a parade uh, by my own choice. I ended up finishing off the parade, kind of wrapping it up, uh, walking behind the Memorial Day parade here in Keene, New Hampshire, as I've done in the last couple of years. And I don't do it to get a rise out of people, even though I know that's inevitable. I mean, because people feel so strongly about the military, it's inevitable that if you take a position of peace on a day like this, that you will be, to some extent, uh, targeted for some S-talking. Whether they will talk it to your face or behind your back is another question. Some of them Doesn't were matter much. Some of them were willing to talk it on Facebook, and we're, we're sharing some of their opinions, because I think these Facebook posts are a pretty good summation of what a lot of people who support the military and warmongering in the state, what a lot of them believe. You know, that uh, you'd be speaking German if it weren't for the military, that the, those boys are over there fighting for your freedom, and how dare you? You shouldn't, you shouldn't be speaking today. Not today. Don't do it today. Any other day, fine. You can go bring your peace flag out. But today, they fought for your freedom to speak, but today you shouldn't be speaking. Mm -hmm. it's but, it's, but it's all right to have the karate kids out. Sure, well, karate kids are, uh, and they got their banner, you know, Fe advertising their future, business, too. Future warriors, future mercenaries. Well, now, isn't uh, the, the martial arts, aren't most of them, don't they advocate for peace? Don't they advocate that you only use the the skills that you have for defensive purposes? I'm not sure about karate. Really? It okay. might be one of those aggressive jump in, the, jump in your opponent's face heights, but you know what? I don't I don't really know. Because they, uh, in my experience, which is limited, uh, in my experience with martial arts, that's kind of the general idea is that they're not teaching you these things so you can go around and rob people or hurt people, that they're teaching you these things so you can defend yourself if you come into a situation like that. So I point out to one of these folks who's critical on Facebook that, look, Wes, you're just lying to yourself. Free speech. What? Journalists and photographers are regularly threatened by government agents across the country. Go to photographyisnotacrime.com. Photographyisnotacrime.com. Carlos Miller is the proprietor of that website, and there's always something new. There's always some new video of a man in a uniform, usually cops, but many of these cops are former military. Uh, these uh, cops, sheriffs, etc., security agents who will come up to people with video cameras, whether they're you know in the mainstream media or not, and threaten them with taking their camera away with arrest, or actually take their camera away, or actually yeah. arrest them. If you think there's freedom of press, uh, press or speech in this country, go to photography is not a crime. Yeah, it's it's a joke. That is the that's the best site that I can point you to. But there's no shortage of stories like that elsewhere as well. But and, this is a nice collection. You'll yes. just scroll down and you'll – if you believe that there's freedom of the press and freedom of speech in this country, you will be disabused of that notion within five right. posts. Right. You only believe that because it's what you've been told, not because you have any evidence for it. Okay, sure, there are some political designations in the world where a show like Free Talk Live – would not fly. There would be no way yep. for us to get on the be air. Be taken out and executed. We could be executed. In a lot of places, you know, there's state-run media. You don't even have the opportunity to have a privately-run radio station or anything private. It's all state-run. 
So, yeah, I get that. I get that. Just because things are worse elsewhere doesn't mean that they can't be better here. Are they getting better? No. Are you freer from, you know, 15 years ago than well, you are today? It depends on how you look at it. So Te- uh, Technology is where it's, you know, that's, the, that's what's keeping us upright. Technology exactly. certainly is a freeing uh, factor. Absolutely. So it's freeing from a variety of different ways. Technology is freeing from a cost perspective, first and foremost. I mean, the things that we're doing today, you Conan with Black Sheep Rising, which is a video show, mm-hmm. uh, video is more complicated to do than audio. And editing video used to be an extremely expensive task. Now, you anybody with a desktop computer and some software, in a lot of cases, some of these operating systems give you free editing software right. with them. Yeah, but I the mean, government didn't have anything to do with that. We're no, talking just, about government freedoms. No, I get where you're, you're coming from. I'm just saying, if you ask that question of are you more free today, it depends on how you answer, how you, your, your perspective. Agreed. Um, you're not free to start your own radio station. You're not free to start your own television station. Old media is very unfree. It's very difficult to get into those areas. Creating new media, going online, there's not much in the way of restrictions on that, and that's a that's a good thing. But at the same time, the online media de- uh, delivery systems don't have the built-in audience that the radio stations do. I mean, these guys have been building their audience for decades. But you know, the le- these legislators are catching up. It wasn't it Feinstein who said that... Uh uh, eighteen-year-old bloggers uh, shouldn't be able to do what they do because you know really? they should they they they're, yeah. they're not educated enough to, to to distribute news out out to the to the masses. I don't remember which one which politician it was, but it was fe- a female one that mm-hmm. uh, made this what the statement. But you know, over and over, politicians are outraged that uh, my God, the voters are getting an opportunity to talk. I hate it when yeah. they do that. Oh, well, geez, it's bad enough when we have to do one of these town meetings and people stand up and make fun of me and stuff. But but it's that technology that allows a high schooler to have his own blog to reach thousands of people or even or even more, uh, and that's that's available to everybody now. I mean, it's right. So there's right. there's more freedom in that way. But if in you other claim ways, that soldiers so protect freedom of the individuals, you must further claim that soldiers have protected the politicians' ability to encroach on your freedom, and the politicians they sure aren't stopping the politicians are winning. Right. Well, I mean, the, the soldiers inarguably protect the politicians' power to encroach. On your freedoms, inarguably. Now you can then yeah. claim you can claim that the soldiers protect us from the people on the outside. So you, the citizens, are responsible for protecting our rights on the inside. But wait, you took an oath to protect me against enemies foreign and domestic. Correct, and a lot of people don't know that. A lot of military don't know that. Uh, even though they took the oath. Even though they took I, the I, oath. I, <laughs> most most of the military that I know that are the guys who are already out, the oath keepers, mm. who you know swear up and down that uh, you know the the I, I think there most of them are, are in favor of the Constitution, but at least the oath that they'll uphold it. The, the legislators and the politicians and what they don't, the, uh, the the Constitution is a is a it's a wall and that prevents them from you know doing what they need to do to, to to gain more power for themselves. Let's continue with your phone calls, Charles in West Virginia, listening to WVTS. Hey, Charles. Hello. Hey, How welcome. are you today? Good, good. Go ahead with your thoughts. Oh, I was listening to your march. Uh, you joined in the march. Uh, I'm glad you joined in the rear. I showed some respect. Oh, you're saying it was respectful to go in the rear of the uh, the parade? Yes, it was. As opposed to inserting myself in the front or in the middle of it? Well, yeah, you might have got your head slapped. Uh, if you had went in the middle of that march, somebody would have slapped your head probably. Well, I appreciate that you uh, have have seen that as respectful. I did not feel it would be appropriate to go in into the middle of the march. I also felt that it was a, mo- a strategic position in the uh, the back end. Of you it. think it's a bad idea for a person with a peace flag to get into a uh, Memorial Day march? Well, no, he yeah. said in the in the front of it. Stand by, Charles. We can bring you back here if you want to continue your comments. 855 450 free is the toll free number here. This is Free Talk Live. Share your thoughts. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, thanks to Dan Pillow, you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pillow. I've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. 
With the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. Or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, The best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you making sense to the boomer mindset? I'm Holland Cook from survivalspeech.com. 80 million baby boomers comprise 25% of the population and control most of the USA's wealth. As aging parents pass on, they'll control more. Boomers are 46 to 65 years old and regard themselves as midlife. They identify as neither young nor old. They're post minivan and pre retirement. they don't like being called boomers. They think me. Many of the purchases boomer couples make are individual purposes. They've been experimenters all their lives. If you want their attention, tell stories and keep it simple. If something seems complicated, boomers can dismiss it as, I don't need this. And if you're looking for work, you may be applying to a boomer, so relate accordingly. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. Bring up anything here. Although the overall conversation has been about Memorial Day and some of the controversy over me getting into a parade today at the very end of the Memorial Day parade with a peace fly. We're sharing some of the responses that I received from folks on Facebook. You can uh, share your thoughts as well, toll free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Mark, free coffee? Yeah, you can get a free pound of coffee by going to coffee.freetalklive.com. You pay for the shipping, we'll pay for the pound of coffee. Um, You have to sign up for a subscription, but you can cancel that subscription anytime. You get your pound, cancel it, that's fine. You're going to want more. This is great coffee. It's great coffee. It's delicious coffee, and you will find no coffee better. It is the best of the best coffee. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, top 1% grade Arabica beans. 
But the thing about BuzzBox Coffee that really sets them apart is their concern for people. They have a coffee co-op uh, that they, you know, they have their farmers involved in, and and that co-op allows families to get up out of the, the poverty. And in the same way, partners like Free Talk Live are able to offer micro loans to other people around the world that are also able to help them get a hand up out of out of poverty. And I think that this is it's it's immensely important because. Many times, these charities that just give handouts, that's not what people need or they don't respect it in the way that uh, that they would otherwise, getting sure. a loan and being able to work themselves out of poverty. I think that's what makes a difference, and that's why I'm excited to be involved. Go get your coffee from coffee.freetalklive.com. Get your free pound, and then if you like it, keep getting your coffee there, coffee.freetalklive.com. All right, so we're going to continue with Charles. Mark, you had had a question because Charles had called in from West Virginia listening to WVTS. He was saying that he thought that it was respectful of me to not get into the parade in the front or perhaps in the, more respect. in the middle of the, the parade. And you'd asked him a question about what was it exactly? Well, just um, do you think that he shouldn't have gotten involved at all, Charles? Charles, uh, go ahead. Oh, yes, he can get involved. I think he should. That is fantastic. Now, were you formerly in the military? Yes, I was. And what are your thoughts on whether or not the military is fighting for freedom or fighting to, uh, to for the whims of the politicians? More or less than the whims of politicians. We've been fighting political wars for politicians since World War II. Yeah, I, I pretty much have to agree with that. I mean, World War II, I think, is uh, was it was the inevitable outcrop of World War One. Um, and I don't know about the Pacific Theater. I don't think that there was any avoiding that either um, in, in those circumstances. But everything after World War II, just a mess. Thanks for the call tonight, Charles. I appreciate hearing from you at 855 450 free. Yeah, certainly my my intentions are not to be disrespectful when I get into yeah, that. Parade. I think the back end is the right place to be on this one. It's just yeah. kind of like, you know, trailing on up and. What it right? I also want to be the last thought in people's minds as well. I know, but it doesn't look like you're not trying to get in front of anybody. Do you right. know what I mean? Yeah. Like you did happen to be in front of what was the uh, some baseball team. It was like or a something. baseball little kids baseball team that ran into the parade after decided, I decided we're going to be in the parade. Yeah. And this also kind of backs up you getting in the parade because hey, you just got into a parade like everybody, you know, the other people are doing it too. Apparently, yeah. Now let me ask you this: if uh, you have a peace sign, I and mean, you can't argue with a peace sign. I mean, some people will, but I mean, it's yeah. you're, you know, it's, it just works. It's universal. Right. Now, you, you were now, holding up a sign that says, you know, uh, soldiers are killing babies. killers, right? Yeah. Baby killers. Well, that's whatever. where I was going. If I was to get in the, in, the, in the line with my sign, which just says something like, war, what is it good for? Mm -hmm. Which is a very popular hippie song. Mm -hmm. And a question. I, yeah, exactly. Now, how, now, how do you think people would respond to that? I don't know. You should try it. <laughs> if, if you're if you're at the the mid mark, you know what would that be? I mean, would it be would it? It's hard to say. I know the first year we did this three years ago. Now this is the third year. Uh, the first year we did it, there was a and there was an encounter actually with Chris Cantwell mm -hmm. who was involved in it. We had I think four people the first year walking uh, with signs, and I don't think we actually had a flag the first year at all. When we got to through the parade, they they end it at this uh, rec center here in town, and there's like a, some sort of a speech. I don't stay for the speech. I just take off at that point. Uh, but, uh, you know, we had kind of hung around that first year, and it was while we were hanging around that some somebody wanted to show off. So some tough came up, some old guy, older guy, not old, old, but, you know, middle age maybe, older on middle age side, 50s. Uh, he comes up, and he gets up in Chris Cantwell's face. And now, he picks the biggest male in yeah. the group to go after, you know. Um, and, wasn't, and wasn't Chris carrying as well? Chris, I think, is generally carrying. So, yes, I believe he was carrying on that particular day. Whether it was open or not, I don't recall. But uh, I was really proud of Chris in this moment because, you know, when you listen to Chris Cantwell, if you're familiar with him, we've had him on the show in the past, and he's he's controversial in the liberty movement because he kind of takes a position of, of you know advocating violence in response to the state. And so you, you get the feeling that Chris Cantwell's the kind of guy who's going to reach for a gun as fast as he can. Mm -hmm. But that's not the real Chris, in my opinion. The real Chris, in this case, did a great job de-escalating the situation. This dude got in his face. He shoved him, I believe, at one point. So Chris would have had the justification to, you know, defend himself. At least, you know, show him. To some extent. 
And Chris backed down. He backed this guy down. He you know backed himself down. He well, backed he the situation down. He de- de-escalated. Yeah. And uh, he didn't give the dude what he wanted. The dude wanted Chris to strike him. He wanted Chris to attack him yeah. back. Well, this he way he that. can, rather than having a conversation about the value of uh, marching or the value of um, you know the use of uh, military conflicts around the world for the last six decades or whatever it is, he just wants to go punchy on somebody. Mm-hmm. You know, I can solve this problem by hitting them. And believe me, I understand that feeling. But really... I mean, come on. D- does that make any sense for in- anybody over the age of 13? So I don't know what the response would be, Conan, especially because you'd also be wearing BDU's mm-hmm. uh, camouflage right. uh, going out there, and that may completely change. Like, if you weren't wearing that, you know, would that also change how your message would or be Or if I was to, like I said, desecrate my BDU's, put a big old piece, <laughs> paint a big old peace sign on the back of them, and maybe even tear off the arms, or maybe put some insignias on, like the a- the Go a- a- wall yeah, I love insignia. That. Um, yeah, I don't think that because that's really that's frowned upon, uh, you know, desecrating the, the uniform. You and, know that when you go out there, there's a chance somebody is going to try to show you something. They're going to try to prove something to their girlfriend or their wife or whatever, one of their buddies, uh, military buddies. And mm-hmm. there's always that possibility. The best thing you can do is just arm up with a video camera and be prepared for it. I actually had a video camera. I had one in my bag, one in my pocket, and one on my head, actually. I had the sunglass cams. That, By the way, uh, the Cop Block Contest is, uh, is wrapped up. The Cop Block Video Contest for 2014. We have seven hours worth of of submissions to go through, seven hours worth of people submitting content to copblock.org. And that's one of the things that's on my list of things to do this week is to actually watch as much of that as uh, as possible. Now, who are the other judges? Pete Ayer from Mm copblock.org and Terry who is the creator of Checkpoint USA. I don't know if you're familiar with Checkpoint USA. but And, of course, course, if you're here uh, at the uh, Keene Activity Center, uh, you're probably going to be watching videos with Ian if you're anywhere near him. Because yeah, I actually invited people to uh, to watch some of them today, and it was I was I ended up being sorry that I, I did watched that. a few. Uh, I ended up being sorry because a lot of these videos, they basically are like raw footage with uh, yeah. nothing more than B-roll on you mean, them. You mean Garrett style? Um, no, Garrett will talk to you know he'll get up close to a to a cop and he'll he'll talk to people. the The big problem with a lot of these entries, it's not going to be too hard to pick the winner because some of them are outstanding, but most of them are not so great. Mm-hmm. Um, the big problem with with the the videos in this uh, this contest is that the submitters aren't getting close enough. You know, and that's a new that's kind of a newbie thing. And I think it's great that they're out. I think it's great that they're hitting the streets. That's great that they're recording the police, even if it is from a distance. I think all of that is good. Yeah. But as far as for a video contest purpose, as far as, you know, being able to communicate with people what it is that you're doing, um, many of these were not ready for prime. Yeah, wasn't time. The, wasn't last year's winner the checkpoint guy going through the one, two, three checkpoints and I think so, he, yeah. He just he just ended up driving all through them. He wouldn't he wouldn't show ID. <laughs> Yeah, it was spectacular. So um, I actually haven't gone through all of them yet, but that is one of the things that's on my list of things to do. But just quick tip. I mean, if you're out there on the streets doing cop blocking, it does take practice, right? Like in the beginning, you're going to want to stay away from the scenes because cops are scary and they might target you and arrest you, break your camera. You never know what these guys are going to do. They can be like uh, wild dogs to some extent. So what do you do? Well, over time, you should try to push yourself to get closer to the scene because there was a, some conversations these police were having with people mm-hmm. that I was only be able to watch from a distance. I couldn't hear a word of what was going on, in which case you just got B-roll. You got or, B-roll of somebody Or come to New cops. Hampshire and hang out with us. Yeah, totally. Well, that's the other thing. If you are doing cop blocking with other people, that tends to empower. It tends to encourage and uh, and result in people doing things they wouldn't do if they were alone, for instance. 855, 450 free. More coming up with your thoughts on whatever you want here on Free Talk Live. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, 
Call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. Do good people ever want to call an attorney just to find out if they're right or wrong? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what are you forced to think about first? Money. If you could call as often as you wanted and talk as long as you need without a bill, would you call? Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. I'm a very bad man. And today I watched you leave for work. Then I kicked your door and took your stuff. Without a door devil reinforcing your door frame, it was like you invited me. Don't worry, I'll check back in a couple weeks. Once you've got new stuff. <laughs> door devils are available at participating Ace Hardware stores and locksmiths. Or visit doordevil.com. Free Talk Live. And I use the downsizedc.org yeah. uh, system for responding to my Congress critters and talking to, right. the, to the thieves and liars and despots in, in Washington, D.C. And in these letters, they outline the issue for me. And then they flush it down the toilet. And it's so demeaning. Yeah. They just don't care what I think. I can tell them, you know, like... He'll oh, pretend like he cares if he's trying to get elected. They only care what you think if you're giving them a check with, you know, five digits on mm. it. Then you might be able to get them to do something. Yeah. But that's just one senator among the 535 <laughs> disgusting, dishonorable thieves. What's a guy to do? These lobbying groups, they run Washington. Washington has been taken over. It does not belong to the American people. It doesn't do anything for the American people. It is a bad, bad place. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Moments remain, but enough time, perhaps, for your call if you dial now, toll free to 855 free You know what? I don't think we're going to have time, Mark, for your story about what does freedom mean, but maybe mark it. We'll talk about it later on this week. That's fine. Because we've been talking about Memorial Day, and it is live, by the way, here at Free Talk Live, live on Memorial Day. Um, we've been talking about what happened in the parade where I joined the parade. The parade itself was fairly uneventful. Got some smiles and some waves, some peace signs from people. And then it was later on on Facebook when uh, some people posted the drama began how upset they were and uh, one man says that is the dumbest freaking thing i've ever heard me talking about how there's no free you know free speech is an illusion in this country that look at edward snowden for instance you want a perfect example of somebody who's not allowed to have free speech any of these whistleblowers bradley slash chelsea manning uh, ed snowden others uh, as well uh, journalists have been targeted journalists have had their cameras confiscated confiscated had uh, themselves arrested other journalists have been targeted and put in prison because they won't reveal their sources white house journalists so, who can't film the president they get kicked out of meetings and they don't get to see it but they, because the white house has their own special special white house guy who takes all the pictures right so there's all kinds of restrictions on people and all you have to do is look to find them but he says it's the dumbest freaking thing he's ever heard. I know you make a living spewing this crap, but honestly, not today, in all caps. 
and with five exclamation marks. Go live in Russia or China or North Korea and tell me how much freedom of speech you have. Your ass would be in solitary for life. You're a tool. And even worse, I know you believe the crap you spew. Well, yeah. I mean, and, and didn't you pull up the uh, freedom of press uh, chart? Uh, well, yes, actually. Uh, aren't, we, aren't we going down every year in, well, on, the, on the ranks? Let's talk to Christian about that because it was actually Christian on Skype who brought that to my attention tonight, the press freedom ratings. Christian, you're on the air. Hey, guys. Hey, Christian. Go ahead. All right. Hey, I'm calling because we're talking about freedom here. And you know what? There's actually some, some organizations that actually measure that. There's one called the Press Freedom House. Uh, I think they're at freedomhouse.org. Mm -hmm. And they actually measure you know, how free is the press in the United States. And guess where we are? We are just behind the Bahamas. I said behind. And just above Micronesia, right? The United States is number 30 on that list. So when we talk about how free we are and how we're the number one nation and all the good stuff, right? Well, here we are, number 30 on the 2014 mm. Press Freedom Index. And there's more, right? The uh, economic freedom rankings from the uh, Fraser's Institute in Canada. This is like overall freedom. What are the freest country on earth? What's America's number in there? In 2014, uh, no, 2013, the 2014's numbers are, are not out. In 2013, the number that came out, the United States is number 17. Chile is more free. Canada is more free. Bahrain, wherever that is, is more free. <laughs> there's, uh, there's another one, just to bring you back to press freedom. You had mentioned this organization, uh, Freedom House. This is the first time I've seen the, the link you sent me, and I'll post it on our Facebook, Google+, and Twitter for everybody to take a look at. But it's the first time I've heard of Freedom House. We have talked previously about Reporters Without Borders as another organization that does these press freedom rankings. And if you pull up their list for 2014, the United States is ranked at number 46. According wow. to the story here, uh, the difference is uh, they've, they've gone down 14 points since a pre the previous, I guess, the previous list. But you know, um, not so great for press freedom. Right. I mean, what what I hear here is that the United States is one of the freer places, um, um, one of the freer countries on the planet. But they're going in the wrong direction, and that while they sit around, while so many U.S. citizens sit around and pat themselves on the back for being, uh, you know, the freest nation on earth, or the best nation, or the most prosperous, or whatever the term is that one wishes to use, that things are getting worse. You know, you, gotta, when, I mean, you know yeah. what? Take that pan hand that you're using to pat yourself on the back and start get it, getting it to work, making us more free, and then we'll be better off. Yeah, it's time to drop the motto, home of the free and the brave. It's time to drop that because it's your... It's nonsense. It's, it's over. It's, it's, it's an illusion. It's a lie. If it ever existed. Well, I think that the brave part's still there. The, I, the people are willing to get into the military and fight for um, the... You know, yeah, but the, they're not the, willing to stand up to the government. The paymasters and those kind of things. Oh, by oh, the way, uh, we do, the United great. States just edged out Haiti on the list of uh, press freedom from Reporters Without Borders. I, I find the, the Reporters Without Borders list is, has been disputed in the past, but it's interesting that the other one has the uh, United States down at 32. You know. I mean, what all this means, though, is that it is consistent. All of these reports, which are all done by third-party you know, organizations, you know, all say the same thing. The United States has been going down year to year. It, we are not headed in the right direction right now. Christian, where are you from? I'm from Canada. Number, what is it, 25th. Yeah. <laughs> have, 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 you, have you checked out our great country, of the, of the, land, the land of the free and the home of the brave? Oh, I am a uh, to-be mover to New Hampshire. Ooh. So when, when New Hampshire won... Oh, I know who this is. Yep. You, you actually visited Keene uh, previously. You uh, came in on a motorcycle, right? I sure have on my Harley Davidson. Yeah, we yes, went and had right. some Mexican uh, food with Christian. Was Get really yourself great. a nice Canadian motorcycle, son. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to live the American dream when I first moved to the U.S. in 1998. And, uh, you know, it, it has been that. I have done very well down here in the U.S., but I have also seen this country transform for, from, from what it was just you know, not even 20 years ago to what it is today, and it is very sad. Hey, thanks for sharing that tonight, Christian. I appreciate hearing from you. Come to Porkfest? I will be there. Looking forward to it. Fantastic. See you there, and we will be there as well, live every single night. Thanks for the call, Christian. Porkfest.com to go and get your tickets, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. And you don't have to come up to visit New Hampshire during the Porcupine Freedom Festival, although it's an ideal time for it. 
Uh, you, you can come you any can, old time. You can come during Keenvention. You sure can. That's coming up in uh, late October, early November, October 31st through November 2nd. Keenvention tickets are available now. Early bird price is just $40, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're looking forward to being there for that. And Conan, we're going to have to get you involved in the panel this year. I haven't really figured out how to get you involved, but we'll I was I was involved in two last year, yeah, so I it's not like maybe I... Maybe we'll have you head one up this year. Yeah, You know, I talked about maybe doing some, uh, some uh, farming kind of... T- uh, situation with like Lori Roder or something cool. talking talking the home homegrown chickens and of course Mark could be there talking about his little his, pigs. his, his little piglets <laughs> now you were on the news media panel last year mm-hmm. and, and that, the secession panel and both of those in fact all of the panels all of the discussions all the speeches from Keenvention 2013 are all available free you can just go and experience the entire convention or almost at least the stage portion the the other part of the convention you won't experience by watching the full videos is the stuff happening off the stage hanging out the hanging out the conversations and that's really to me what i think became one of the outstanding parts about keenvention was that it was so intimate you really could meet everyone at keenvention unlike porkfest there's no way you'll be able to meet everybody at porkfest that's not to say porkfest isn't a blast and a lot of fun it's it's awesome it's just a different event tom's in new hampshire you're on Free Talk Live, Tom. Yeah, it's about that uh, shootout out there in California at the University of Santa, near the University of California, Santa Barbara, where that guy was not having any luck in the women department, just like the guy out in uh, at Virginia Tech a few years earlier on 16 April of 2007. Now, why didn't he just go out uh, downtown and buy a woman? And the answer is, of course, that the police would have arrested them and hauled them off to prison for it, for uh, part prostitution or soliciting for prostitution. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think renting is probably to, a better term. Why didn't he go get professional help? Well, look what happened to that guy at Virginia Tech when he accepted therapy. Next thing he knew, the cops were uh, forcing him into a vehicle and uh, taking him to a mental institution to be locked up and was drugged. The, does and anybody know if this people... new killer was on drugs, the psychotropic uh, medication? It says that he refused to take him. He was receiving interesting. He was receiving care, psychiatric psychiatric and, and care, but he wasn't. Wouldn't take the pills. Wouldn't take the pills. And interesting. They, they don't want to be drugged. They don't want uh, to be arrested. See, it's uh, People are looking at what could people have done differently. Maybe if people, uh, some people are half serious saying that it's the fault of women that uh, are too nasty and won't uh, give them special treats. And they're half serious about that. But it's the cops that actually commit unprovoked violence against people who find a solution at the brothel down the street. They're actually violating people's rights. So always remember to blame cops for what happens. It's well, true. The cops don't have to enforce these laws. I mean, the cops will blame the legislators. The cops will say, if you don't like it, you should go and uh, change it. It's the it. brass, um, usually, that is going to decide who's what, which, you know, where the street cops going to be deployed and not deployed. Well, that's true. And you know what they, you know what they sh- he should have done is instead of c- killing innocent people, he should have targeted the cops at a sports event outside the event. If he starts picking them off and goes around the block while the enemy targets swarm in and he just picks off cops, then the copycats will do that. What and copycats are there going to be? I don't think you're going to get as far. Um, you know, the cops cops are carrying heat, and killers don't usually want to go up against people that are uh, mm-hmm. uh, armed equally. Gun, gun, time. gun free what, zones. What Thanks, Tom. You don't have time to get at what you're getting at. I apologize about that. But you what he's getting at is he wants cops shot. Yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> his, his, uh, his, uh, MO. Hey, everybody. Tom wants cop shot. We are out of time. I don't believe violence is the solution, so I don't agree with Tom on that, but we're out of time. Can't talk further, but we'll talk to you tomorrow online. In the meantime, freetalklive.com, blacksheeprising.org for more Conan. This. Hey, guys. Mark Claire here, lionsofliberty.com, where we strive to advance the ideas of liberty daily. We bring you the morning roar. That's right. Every Monday to Friday, we'll have a brand new edition of The Morning Roar, where we provide a roundup of some news stories that you may not find in the mainstream media or even in your typical social media news feed. We find stories that relate to the ideas of liberty and provide you with our liberty perspective on them. Every Monday, we have our longest-running feature, Mondays with Murray, named after the great libertarian Murray Rothbard, where we'll examine an article or an excerpt from his works and help convey his view along with our little spin as well. We wrap it all up every Friday with Felony Friday, where our own John Odermatt goes out and takes a look at some sort of felony. There's felonies committed every day, you know, whether it's a felony committed by the police, a politician, or even an average citizen. You can find all of this and so much more over at LionsofLiberty.com. 
www.liberty.com. Advancing the ideas of Liberty daily. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Liberty Conspiracy is next, after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Friday, May 23rd, 2014. Radio VR News. President Obama is expected to announce a cabinet shuffle today. He plans to select an Hispanic leader whose political star is on the rise, plus he gets political experience beyond local politics. Jackie Quinn has a preview. The White House says President Obama will tap San Antonio Mayor Julian Castro to become the next housing secretary. The slot will open up as the president taps current HUD Secretary Sean Donovan to run his budget office. The 39-year-old Castro, a three-term mayor, has been mentioned as a possible vice presidential candidate for 2016. If confirmed, he and Labor Secretary Thomas Perez would be the highest-ranking Hispanic officials in the administration. Jackie Quinn, Washington. The list of contenders to host the next GOP presidential convention has been narrowed, but there's some concern in the party about the location. Las Vegas. Correspondent Mike Gracia tells us why. Las Vegas and Cincinnati are out of the running to host the Republican Party's 2016 presidential nominating convention. Las Vegas organizers dropped their bid, saying they faced scheduling and convention space problems. Cincinnati organizers had arena issues. That leaves Dallas, Denver, Cleveland, and Kansas City, Missouri still in the running. Republican National Committee officials approved the four remaining contenders Thursday, and they're expected to narrow the field by this summer. Mike Gracia, Washington. The Veterans Administration scandal continues to grow with even more calls for the head of the VA to step aside and let someone else take over the embattled department. Jerry Bolander has the details. The number three House Republican, Congressman Kevin McCarthy, says Secretary Eric Shinseki should step aside, calling the VA crisis a national embarrassment. Shinseki told reporters here at the Capitol he plans 